following religious program is being brought to you by the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. The contents of this program are solely those of the sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, here in the United States of America, now presents the Worldwide Truth of God television program with the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. This program is intended to enlighten and edify you about the Holy Scriptures and the will of God for the salvation of your soul. Give careful consideration to the many subject matters of this program and join us each week for the truth, which from God's Word, the Bible. Though the storms keep on raging in my life, and sometimes it's hard to tell from day Still that hope that lies within is reassured As I keep my eye upon the distant shore I know he'll lead me safely to that place
Jesus Christ. This, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program. It comes to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our headquarters church is located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Nostia salutation to nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité de Dieu, programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Saludos a todos nuestros. Radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de su Cristo. Este es el programa radial, Verdad de Dios, con el pastor Gino Jennings. We ask you to bow with us as Minister Philip Williams of Rocky Mount, North Carolina, will now lead us in prayer. Heavenly Father, yes, Lord Jesus. in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, yes, Lord, we do praise you, we do adore you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for this day. Yes, Lord. We ask Heavenly Father that you will have your way in this yes, day. We pray, Heavenly Father, you will touch our hearts, yes, touch our minds, help us to surrender all into you, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will touch the listeners' hearts, yes, touch their mind, Lord Jesus. That they may hear the word of God. That they may give up all this sin unto you, Lord Jesus. And cry out, what must I do to be saved? We do praise you, we do adore you. We thank you for the man of God, Lord, Pastor Geno Jennings. We ask you to continue to touch his heart. Give him strength, Lord. We do praise you, we adore you. We ask you to touch the reader, Lord Jesus. Brother William, Lord, anoint him the more, Lord Jesus. We do give a name to praise the Lord for all of thy people. We ask, Lord, for a special blessing, Lord, upon your people, Lord. Help us all to be obedient to all of your commandments. Do give your word in the name of praise and all honor. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is God Almighty, that everyone say, Amen. If you just join us, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. This is a pre-recorded program coming to you from the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. You're also witnessing the concluding services of our 20th International or National Women's Convocation. Uh, it's being recorded on the afternoon of June the 25th, the year 2006. Uh, this afternoon, we're on site at uh, the Hampton High School, or that's the Hampton High School, uh, located at uh, 1491 West Queen Street. That's 1491 West Queen Street in Hampton, Virginia. And again, you're witnessing the uh, concluding services of our 20th National Women's Convocation. At this time, we're going to be favored with a selection from uh, one of our sisters. Uh, her name is uh, Sister Ruth Sampson, Sister Ruth Sampson of Newport News, Virginia. She's going to render a selection on to us entitled, We Shall Behold Him. The stars shall unfold, preparing his entrance. The stars shall applaud him with thundering praise. The sweet light in his eyes shall enhance those that are waiting, and we shall. Yes, we shall 
Yes, we shall behold Him. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we shall behold Him. Face to face, face to face. And the sleeping, we're going to rise with a thundering wave. And those who remain shall, hallelujah, oh yes Lord, we're going to be changed in one moment yes Lord oh we shall behold him our Savior and Lord yes we shall behold Again, you're listening to or watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. This is a pre recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. You're also witnessing the concluding services of our 20th National Women's Convocation. That's our 20th National Women's Convocation. Uh, it's being held right here uh, in the uh, city of uh, Hampton, Virginia. Uh, specifically, we're at 1491 uh, West Queen Street, which is the Hampton High School. 1491 West Queen Street in Hampton, Virginia. Again, this is uh, the 20th uh, National Women's Convocation convening this year, uh, the year 2006 uh, in Hampton, Virginia. And specifically, we're at the Hampton High School the address 1491 West Queen Street in Hampton, Virginia. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, a current listing of all our radio and television stations, a listing of our church locations both within and outside the United States, a listing of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings, and the Truth of God magazine is called, it's our fourth edition, and that's available for 10 US dollars. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five US dollars. For those writing to request copies of our broadcast, uh, we do always ask that you address your correspondence to uh, Pastor Gino Jennings. That's Pastor Gino Jennings, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19125. That's our street address. I uh, would like you to redirect your correspondence to our post office box address. That's our post office box address. That's PO Box. 7745, once again, 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 191, 
1901. That's the address if you wish to receive uh, information about our broadcast or our, our programs that you see recorded on the air. Once again, today's or tonight's program number is 726. Uh, your witnessing program number is 726. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area in person by Pastor Jennings or have questions regarding this program or simply regarding the scriptures, again, you may address all your correspondence to First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our P.O. Box address is 7745, again, 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. You can also visit us on the internet. Uh, go to the web and visit our website at www.truthofgod.com. Once again, go to the web and visit our website at www.truthofgod.com. Uh, there you find both audio and video versions of our past broadcasts. Uh, failing that, we'd like you to uh, pick up the phone and give us a call. It's toll free. It's 1-888-231-2201. Once again, pick up the phone and give us a call at 1-888-231-2201. And that number will be displayed uh, on screen throughout the course of our broadcast. You can also email us. Our email address is truthofgod at errols.com. Once again, you'll also see this on screen. Our email address is truthofgod at errols.com. Once again, send us an email. And as always, we ask that you send us a short email because of the tremendous number of emails that we do receive. Once again, our email address, uh, truthofgod at errols.com. And very few quick words to our, our French speaking listeners. Nos saint salutation à tous nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jésus Christ. Nous sommes la vérité de Dieu, programme radiophonique. Avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Cette mission vous parvient de la première église, Notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, située à 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, à Philadelphie, Pennsylvania, 1975, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. La voie plan du salut du Dieu du monde, le repentez et le baptême dans l'eau, au nom de Jésus-Christ, pour l'absolution de vos péchés. Et que vous recevez le cadeau du Saint-Esprit, comme il est écrit dans la Bible. Nous vous invitons à notre clair pour recevoir une documentation gratuite. En français ou en anglais, est titulé « Êtes-vous honné, femme prédicatrice et Jésus-Christ est Dieu tout puissant ?» Encore une fois, nous vous rappelons notre adresse, Première Église, Notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. 24, 31, Frankfurt Avenue, à Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. Dieu vous bénisse, nous espérons avoir de bonnes nouvelles très prochainement. That's to our French-speaking listeners across the globe. We'd just like to remind you that you're listening to and witnessing the 20th National Women's Convocation. Our 20th National Women's Convocation uh, being held this year in Hampton, Virginia. Uh, specifically, we are, we're at the Hampton High School. And uh, this recording is being made on the afternoon of June the 25th, the year 2006. Now I'm honored to present to you the servant of God and general overseer, our leader, teacher, guide, and he's the messenger of the almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennis. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We are thankful again to the one God for his divine wisdom and his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for sending to us his prophets. We thank him for the revelation he has revealed to his servants, the apostles. <clears throat> Most of all, we thank him for the greatest of all religions that is in the earth today, which is the way of holiness. There's nothing like it. <clears throat> There's nothing close to it. Amen. Out of all the religions of the world, practically all religions make it a habit to abstract something from the scriptures. Amen. To try to give that religion some reality, some foundation, something concrete. But we don't believe in abstracting some things Man. from the scriptures. We believe that all the scriptures are true and all the scriptures are correct. <clears throat> we are thankful to be in the closing of this women's conference, the 20th National Women's Holy Convocation. Amen. Uh, it has been a blessed meeting all week <clears throat> of a truth without controversy the spirit of the living God have been with us Hallelujah. in this week's meeting Amen. and the uh, book of scripture teaches us where the Lord is there's liberty Amen. 
to my television viewers that are watching, we're glad to come back in your home, in your church, in your place of business, in your car. Many times I'm riding through Philadelphia, people ride by me who may not know it's even us in the car. Blasting the broadcast on audio or on CD. And Right on 95, you can see it. Some folks watching DVDs in their truck or in their car, right on, and they monitor in their uh, manner of transportation. But the message is far reaching. Amen. I want to greet our brothers and sisters that are listening throughout Great Britain, in the UK, throughout Africa, and different parts of uh, the Philippines and other parts of the world, throughout America, where I have hundreds of thousands of television viewers that love the truth as well as hundreds of thousands of enemies that hate the truth. Mm -hmm. I thank God for you too Amen. because some of you that are my enemies now you'll be my friends later. That's right. Amen. That's I just give you some time for the devil to come out of you. Amen. <laughs> Bible said God knew them that are his, didn't it? Amen. Yes, sir. Some of you that are upset now, you may not know it, but you'll soon be in my hands or the hands of one of my brothers going down in water. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and soon that thing you see that have us moving will have you moving. That's right. Amen. And you'll bear witness there is no God but one. Amen. And he's master of all creation, and he and he alone is worthy to be worshipped. He alone is worthy of all honor. He alone is worthy of all praise. There is no rivals. That any God that is set up by men cannot be a qualified, certified rival Amen. against the God of heaven and earth. Amen. So to the brothers and sisters that are watching, to you that are looking in Jamaica, God bless your Caribbean heart. Right. Jamaica, be on the lookout for our arrival in August. The ad just to come on the screen, if it's not there already, it'll be the Jamaican West Indies Holy Convocation. It'll be held at the local temple there in the St. Elizabeth Parish, if I'm correct. Bogue. Uh, in Bogue. So the address be on the screen. Invite your pastor. In fact, you too, preacher. You too, preacher. Oh, yeah. You come because you need it That's right. just as much as the people. Right. That way you can come and get the right stuff. Then you can go carry the stuff back Amen. to your church so your church can rid itself of that germ that you have caught called fossilitis. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You see, there's, there's a virus that's around called fossilitis. Amen. Contracted. The devil gave it to preachers. That's right. Oh, yeah. God, you don't slip with the mingle with the devil so long, you contracted fossilitis. Amen. And now it's spreading among your congregation. Amen. I see the symptoms that's among them. Amen. Symptoms cause you to have unbelief. That's, That's right. right. Full of unbelief. <coughs> so, to my Jamaican West Indy churches and viewers, <coughs> you Rastafarians and other viewers, That's right. I'm invited to be a guest on a militant television program in Jamaica. <coughs> and I'm told that this preacher is known for chopping and dissecting uh, men who claim they know scriptures. Amen. That's my type of man. Amen. Amen. I'm told that there are many renowned preachers that came from other parts of the country that been on his program and he have dissected them and just chopped them up and just grind them down to absolute nothing. Uh -huh. Me and him going to get along very well. <laughs> oh, because when it comes to the word of God, that's, that's my life. That's mine. Feel. That's right. It's a field that the God of heaven had put us in. So I'm looking forward uh, to meeting this gentleman. And I do hope the television viewers that's in Jamaica, you all are welcome. I don't care who you are, what you are. If you're a woman preacher, you're welcome too. Uh, whether you're a Trinitarian, Baptist, Methodist, Mormon, Muslim, Moorish American, followers of Noble Drew Ali, it doesn't matter. All of you are welcome. To my viewers throughout the South that watch this program, keep watching. Florence, South Carolina, we'll be back in your area. The National Men's Convention. 
will be taking place this year, the last week of August. Keep watching television viewers, the dates will be coming up. It'll be held in Florence, South Carolina at the Florence, South Carolina local temple. The address is 1010 Gibbs Avenue, and I believe the closing of the temple <coughs> to hold a capacitive crowd will be held elsewhere, if I'm not mistaken. But keep watching for the address. All of you men down there in the South, and you that believe you are men, and you that are uncertain That's right. about your manhood, your status of the male agenda, you are welcome to come also. I advise all fathers to bring your sons. Amen. I advise all mothers to bring your sons. Amen. Women, bring your boyfriends. Mm -hmm. uh, wives, bring your husbands. Mm -hmm. Because today there's a shortage of men. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Uh, without question, there's a shortage of men. You have more that bear the title men. But a true man is one that's willing to love God and one that's not afraid to strive to obey God. Amen. To our sisters, we thank God for you. Wonderful. And to the many, yeah. many, many sisters that are not here, well, this telecast is dedicated to all of our sisters that are here and to our sisters that are in India and to other parts of America, Canada, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, and throughout the world where the truth of God is just digging up people and resurrecting the dead. Amen. Amen. Television viewer, you're watching the resurrection. Amen. Did you hear what I tell you? That's right. You are watching the resurrection. Amen. I am not talking about the mass resurrection when Jesus come oh, no. and present unto himself a glorious church. That's right. Resurrection takes place every day. Because to be resurrected is to be revived. Amen. Right. The book of scripture teaches us that we were dead in trespass and in sin. Amen. Where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the powers of the air, the spirit that now work in the children of disobedience. All of us need to be resurrected. From what? From the dead, from sin, release or freed from the clutches of the enemy. Amen. So whatever religion you are, and I'm pretty sure I have millions of religious scholars and preachers and rabbis and imams and monks and priests and bishops and apostles and whatever other title you want to give yourselves that watch this telecast on a daily basis. I want to thank the thousands upon thousands of uh, writers, you that have wrote us letters from around the world, and the thousands of emails yeah. that constantly come in. Your mail that express your love to the truth, and I am equally touched mm. by the letters I get to express your hatred to the truth. When I read your hateful, disgusting, despicable overwhelming letters you touch my heart amen you, you make me feel very good and spiritual <laughs> when you write me telling me your hate that's right towards the word of god because i know that in order for you to hate the word of god god said something mm -hmm. right that touched you amen. and god told you something that you know you don't want to do. That's right. But now you're faced with something that you know you have to do, and now you have to make a choice. That's right. Between God's way and your way. That's Amen. right. Now, as always, we have some letters. I want to uh, get to you, television viewers, and answer as much mail as I can. I know many of you, as I've said on many occasions, have watched it same program over and over and over well that's all right you can never get enough of the same stuff right. you know when something good it doesn't matter if it's repeated but if it's good you never can get enough of it that's right is that right that's right, right. Uh, so you can never get enough of the truth of god it is the greatest thing since television been television Amen. it is not a play it is not pre-rehearsed 
right. it is hardcore rough scriptural truth that's right. right it is no blessing with your name on it that's right it is no blessing plan it is no one save always save it is none of that stuff it is God way presented to you plain direct raw straight not diluted with water That's right. not pre-sweetened it's just salt That's right. God Almighty teaches us that salt is good That's right. so this is what we have to offer you now my advice to you television viewers if by any chance we are too hard too vulgar too vocal too outspoken then there is a large selection of devil made preachers that is on your television down that's right now if you want to go to hell and just love your journey to hell i advise you don't watch the truth of god amen that's right because the truth of god is designed to rescue you from hell that's right but if you just want to go there this program is not for you Amen. somebody say well yeah I got a mind to go to hell who you recommend that I watch every other preacher <laughs> bar none, bar none. Amen. every other preacher including your pastor that's right there's only one truth that's right how do you define truth God Amen. Amen. that's right the true definition of truth is God. Amen. Outside of God, there is no truth. All right, Dan the man, he got his letters ready. So we're going to dive into some and try to answer as many questions as we possibly can. Amen. I know some of you already is furious and upset over the few remarks that was already made. You're pacing the floor. Just sit down. That's right. Sit down. Don't look at the television as if I can see you. I don't see you, but just sit down. Sit down. You got your beer in your hand. Don't open it. That's but right. just sit down. Amen. Woman, hey, you land in bed with your second husband or your third husband. Tell him to get out the bed and let him go sit down. You pull your sheet up and watch the program and perhaps you'll get ready to pack your clothing and go for a long journey home. Amen. Right. All right, Dan, let's get busy and see who out there that's watching feathers we can ruffle. Amen. All right, let's have it. Uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yes. This person says, Dear Pastor Jennings, I am a police officer here in Philadelphia. Wonderful. With all the violence and ignorance I see in people, I find myself getting caught up in it also. But thank God for your ministry about the truth of God. I would like to visit your church, but I don't know when, though. Your schedule, traveling around in different areas, makes it difficult to know if services will be held in Philadelphia. Well, listen, I travel much through many parts of America and many foreign countries around the world. But because I'm not in Philadelphia, service don't stop. Right. We have ministers that still minister to the people. So service still go on. It's the same way uh, we have branch temples in different parts of America and still building more uh, and in foreign countries. But I am not spirit, so I can't be everywhere. Right. So because I'm not in these other locations, still service go on. So my police officer, you're welcome. In fact, the whole police department That's right. is welcome. You're welcome to come. Uh, whether you see me or not, you're welcome to be there. Our services go on Tuesday and uh, Thursday and brothers class on Wednesday. So whether I'm there or not, uh, I just want you to get that straight. If I'm not there, it doesn't matter. The doors are still open. Right. All right. Jamaica West Indies. Yes. Uh, this subject is on generally speaking, this person says. Mm -hmm. You stream into my bedroom every Saturday morning, and I'm disturbed that there is a branch of your church in my country. <laughs> we have you enough confusion. Hold it, hold it now. They said, I come in their bedroom every Sunday, and now they are disturbed that we have church in Jamaica. Uh -huh. Interesting letter. All right, let's hear what they have to say. I'm disturbed that there is a branch of your church in my country. I'm, I want to say, my writer, I'm very touched. Amen. Amen. And I'm very thankful 
that I have the opportunity every Sunday to disturb your house. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. We have enough confusion here without you adding to it, she says, or he yes. says. But it seems we intend to maintain our record of having the most churches here per square mile. Mm -hmm. What is your doctrine apart from men rule the world? I don't believe. I'm not into men ruling the world. Amen. For women, by scriptural law, have authority to rule kingdoms as well. Amen. You had queens in the Bible, one by the name of Sheba. That's right. Amen. Another by the name of Candace. Mm -hmm. Another by the name of Esther. That's right. Amen. You have women warriors, one by the name of Judith. That's right. You have good, strong women who all Israel had to fight for. You have one by the name of Susanna. Susanna. That's right. So, uh, no, I am not a male chauvinist. I believe that if a woman was to run for the presidency, mm -hmm. I believe that a woman can be a president. Amen. Certainly she can. She can be a queen. She can be a president. Just our objective is plain and simple. All laws that is put forth by kings, queens, presidents, governors, or, or mayors, mm -hmm. our belief is plain and simple. That whatever decision you make, you first should investigate the decisions that God have already made. That's right. That's right. And then let whatever bill you pass that you want to be law already be in correspondence with the existing laws that God have itemized in the scriptures. That's yeah. right. All right, come on, Dan. She says, or he says, obviously, what that explains the mess we're in, wouldn't you say? No. What explains the mess that you're in is because you won't obey God. Amen. Amen. Jamaica is full of hell. Jamaica is of the devil. Mm -hmm. It is because you Jamaican folk won't obey God. That's right. it. Now, let us use some good sense. You mentioned in your letter that there's a lot of churches there. Mm -hmm. Then why is Jamaica still in the mess? Amen. That's right. You have churches there, you have mosques, you have synagogues. Mm -hmm. The problem is you have what is called religion. That's right. But it is the religion of God that you people lack. That's right. right. Not just in Jamaica, but in other parts of the world. Amen. Why you have churches all over the place. Mm -hmm. Pack. You go to New York. Where you have so many row houses. That's right. Amen. You can have a whole row of churches. Amen. Synagogues, Pentecostal, Apostolic, non-denominational, Methodist, Episcopalian, Lutheran, Christian Science, Mormon. Seven day of Venice. That's right. right. And all of them will have something different. That's right. So, viewer, I'm not your problem. Amen. The devil is your problem. Amen. God has given straight commandment. Listen, listen at the scripture. In the book of 2 Esther, chapter 7, and at verse 21. Listen. For God has given straight commandment. God has given crooked commandments. God has given straight commandments. Crooked commandments. Straight commandments. God has given straight commandments. To such as came. To such as came. What they should do to live. Straight commandments. That's right. You see the religion of men, Jamaica, is crooked. Amen. Amen. The religion of men is crooked. Any religion that teaches you to deviate from God, Amen. that religion is a crooked religion. Amen. Nevertheless, nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. Do you hear that? That's right. Yeah. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. But speak against him. But speak against him. And imagine vain things. Now, this is why we are needed. Listen, listen, my Jamaican television viewer. We are needed in Jamaica. Amen. I said the truth of God is needed in Jamaica. Amen. To straighten out everything else that have deviated from the book. Amen. All the bishops, all the homemade apostles, all the women preachers. You're looking at me now, woman. Yes, you are. That's right. Yes, you are. You got your lipstick on now, drinking your Jamaican rum. Amen. That's right. Getting ready to go to your Pentecostal church so you can scream to the people on Sunday morning. That's right. I've been in Jamaica flipping through the television. I saw you Jamaican women claim your preachers all on television. 
television hollering, Amen. screaming. That's right. And you poor excuse of handicapped men Amen. sitting there being led by women. That's right. Amen. So I say the woman must have done something to you mighty bad in life. <laughs> That's right. No, not at all. Amen. We believe that men should have their prospective place in the earth by God's law. Right. We believe that women should have their prospective place in the earth by God's law. That's right. Amen. All right, come on, Dan. This letter is from uh, is on the subject of women ministers. All right. It said in the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew, chapter 27, and verse 56, it references women teaching. It does. That's what they say. Matthew what? Matthew 27 and verse 56. All right, let's get the scripture that they pitched at me. I want to dive into it and strip it bare. Amen. Let's see what can we pull out of there. They say Jesus made reference to women ministers. Teaching. Women teaching. Teaching. What else the letter say? Have you taken this subject out of context? All right, let's see the context of it. Let's see what it consists of. Come on, William. Yeah. Matthew 27, we'll begin at verse 55. All right. And many women were there beholding a far off. Yes. Which followed Jesus from Galilee, <laughs> ministering unto him. Mm. Many men. Take your time. Many women were doing what? Ministering unto him. Preaching. They were following him, doing what? Ministering unto him. <laughs> Now, <laughs> let's break this down. Viewer, who do you think Jesus needed to teach him? My Lord. The book plainly states Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. All things. That's right. That's right. Amen. So why would you think Jesus need ministers or women to teach him. Yes, they ministered unto him. But how? Ah, that's right. Your problem is you lack the term ministry, the meaning of the term. Right. Now, I have a host of secretaries through America and foreign countries. Amen. That minister unto me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Am I right? I said. That's right. But not one preach That's it. unto me. That's right. What do you mean, minister? Minister simply means to serve, to help. That's right. Help those women. Let me show you what it means. Come on, Williams. In Philippians chapter four and verse three. Are you ready, script? Ready. Listen to what the book says. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 3. What is it? And I entreat thee also. <laughs> How? True yoke fellow. What did brother Paul say? Help those women. Help those women. Which help help those women. Help help those women. Those women. Which labored with me. Which labor with me. In the gospel. You see these women here? All of them labor with me. Right. That's right. It's right. good. It's good. Certainly. That's right. right. Some are doctors. Amen. Some are lawyers. That's right. Amen. Some are accountants. That's right. Some are teachers. That's right. But none of them are God sent, God anointed, God instructed preachers. That's right. Why? God said, out of the mouth of Apostle Paul in the 14th chapter of Corinthians, Paul, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of a Pharisee, a doctor of the law named Gamaliel, who right. taught Paul according to the perfect manner of the law, the ways of Musa or the ways of Moses. But on his journey to Damascus, wisdom came down from heaven in the form of a light and stopped him and asked him, why are you persecuting me? That's right. He asked God, who are you? He said, I am Jesus whom thine persecuted. Mm -hmm. So he was led to a street called Straight, and there was a man named Ananias, a disciple and a believer of God, down there waiting to baptize Paul. Oh, yeah. Then when Paul received the Holy Ghost, he went straightway preaching that Jesus was the Christ, right. because the light that came to him gave him the intelligence and the characteristics of God. That's right. Yeah. So now Paul, being a divine, God called, God sent, God anointed, God instructed, God God made, God taught, heavenly appointed and heavenly authorized Go ahead. apostle, Go ahead. an ambassador to have permission to represent all heaven. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's right. 
He was an ambassador with the ability and divine permission to represent all heaven. That's right. Angels were forbidden to contradict the man Paul. That's right. Jabril and Michael and Raphael were forbidden to contradict the message that God gave Paul. That's right. So now Paul stops down in Corinth Amen. in the midst of a journey, and an epistle is written here. First Corinthians 14 and verse 34. Listen, begin at verse 33. At verse 33. What is it? For God is not the author God of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. But of peace but of peace meaning but of cooperation that's, that's what that means that's right See, when he said but of peace in all the churches cooperation right. introduces peace that's, that's right. right listen at this for god is not the author of confusion but what but of peace but of cooperation as in all churches of the saints and all churches of the saints let your women all right all right all right let your women keep silent keep silent in the churches in the churches for it is not permitted unto them them to speak now hold it amen it isn't talking about praying no. Hannah prayed that's right and brother Eli thought she was drunk that's, that's right. right because he saw her mouth moving that's right but didn't hear no sound no that's right it isn't talking about prophesying yes, sir. for Deborah and Anna were prophetess that's right, that's right. It isn't talking about being in position of politics. No. That's right. Because Sheba was a political figure. That's right. If you were queen, you was a political figure because you had ruled over a kingdom. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. Glory That's to God. Right. Amen. That's right. It isn't talking about bearing witness to the truth. Amen. For the Bible says, say amen to the, the truth. truth. That's yeah. right. Amen. It isn't talking about praying. For the book teaches us, be instant in prayer. It isn't right. talking about singing. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. So now you got to find out what is it what is it that god amen advises that's right. the woman amen. to be silent about that's right he's silent in reference to the women teaching, teaching. in the form that's right sir. of you suffering authority over the man and trying to break down scriptural law to god's people that's right why do i use the term in the form Give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. Amen. Then give me the third chapter of the book of Titus. That's right. Or rather the second chapter second of the chapter. book of Titus. I want to balance out the women can teach Wonderful. and I want to balance out they can't teach. 1 Timothy Wonderful. chapter 2 and at verse 12. Listen. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But what? Nor to usurp authority over the man. All right, woman. Amen. If you can preach, mm -hmm. what title can you hold? That's right. That's right. That's right. Can you be a bishop? Amen. The Bible said a man, man that desired the office of a bishop, That's right. he desired the office of a good work. That's That's right. Right. He must be the husband of one wife. He didn't save the wife of one husband. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Can you be a female deacon? It is no such thing as a deaconess. That's right. But it is such thing as a female mess. That's right. But not a deaconess. Amen. That's right. I right, listen to the old troublemaker. Amen. That's right. Amen. Can you be an elder? Nope. You cannot be an elder and preach the gospel. Oh, yeah. no. You don't have no female elders preaching the gospel in the book. That's right. right. Can you be a prophet? No. Nope. A prophet is a man, man. a prophetess True. is a woman. So yes, you can be a prophetess, right. which is given to a woman to prophesy. That's right. What is prophecy? Prophecy is when a woman is divinely moved by the God of creation to foretell an event that's going to come in a city or a town or a village or to a person or to a people. That's right. And when she prophesies or relate that divine message given to her by God himself she relate that message she's not breaking down the scriptures That's she's right. not itemizing God law right. she come by God permission to give you prophecy right. thus saith the Lord you shall die in the year 2010 and she sits down That's, That's right. right. That's right. Sir. but when she get up I ain't want the years for a text today. Amen. <laughs> oh, how David has slain the giant Goliath. That's right. That's right, sir. All you Go see. Ahead, Go ahead. Ha, mama, mama. That's what right. the Lord. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Go ahead, folks. Let's keep it scriptural. That's, That's right. right. 
So this gang of women that you refer to in the book uh -huh. amen, who follow Jesus, amen. name one, name one. Preacher. Jesus declared that was a preacher. That's right. Now let me give you revelation and make you think of something that none of you preachers ever thought of who believe in women preachers. Amen. To prove to you that there was no women preachers in Jesus' day. Go ahead. Because the only area of ministry That's right. that was available, mm -hmm. who Jesus was making, were apostles. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. That's right. That's the only office That's right, man. that he was making That's right. during his time of ministry. That's right. Where apostles, prophets was already here. That's right. Before the Messiah walked earth. That's right. Because the prophets represent the former house. That's right. So he had to establish the latter house. That's right. In order for the prophet Haggai words to be exact, that the latter house shall be greater than the former house. So the substance of the former house was for the prophets, they were here. Go ahead. That's right. That's Amen. why Jesus bared title prophet and apostle that's, that's right, right. Both. because he represents the end that's right hey, brother. of the former house Amen. and represent the beginning right. of the latter house Amen. That's right. do you understand that's right Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. god never called never never had never, never will Call and send a woman to preach the gospel. Amen. If your mama is a woman preacher, right. your mama is a liar. That's right. If your grandmama is a woman preacher, That's right. your grandmama is a liar. Amen. Hey, hey, bishop, hey, bishop, elder, if your wife, if she's your assistant pastor or a preacher, Amen. then your wife, you're sleeping with a liar. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Go ahead. That's the truth. Do you hear what the book says? But I suffer not a woman to teach. What else? Nor to yeah. usurp authority over the man. But what? But to be in silence. But why? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Then? And Adam was not deceived. But what? But the woman being deceived was in the trance. All right, now, let me show you where the scriptures give women permission to teach and who they are allowed to teach. Amen. In the book of Titus chapter 2, beginning Be at verse 3. Give chapter and verse again. Titus chapter 2, and we'll begin at verse All three. right, my television viewers, I want you to get this and look at it good. I have dealt with this subject. I get thousands of letters about this one subject. Amen. Someone said, why you always deal with it? Because you women ain't got sense enough to sit down. That's right. Huh? That's right. As long as you're up, I got to pull the word down. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah. Come on, son. Let's have it. Titus chapter 2 and at verse 3. Women preachers and remarriage and divorce are one of the two largest subjects in the world. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. I got some women following me now that were women preachers. That's right. But they were resurrected. Right. Came out the pulpit. That's right. Now, besides trying to preach from the Bible, they come and follow us in the Bible. Amen. All right, viewer. Viewer, get your, get your Bible. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. That goes for you too, woman. That's right. Get your Bible. Don't let your bacon burn. Now. Amen. All right. Right, come on, Dan. This letter is from uh, is on the subject of women ministers. All right. It said in the book of Matthew, in the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-seven and verse fifty-six, it references women teaching. It does. That's what they say. Matthew what? Matthew twenty-seven and verse fifty-six. All right. Let's get the scripture that they pitched at me. I want to dive into it and strip it bare. Amen. Let's see what can we pull out of there. They say Jesus made reference to women ministers teaching. Women teaching. Teaching. What else the letter say? Have you taken this subject out of context? All right, let's see the context of it. Let's see what it consists of. Come on, William. Matthew 27, we'll begin at verse 55. All right. And many women were there beholding a far off. Yes. Which followed Jesus from Galilee, <laughs> ministering unto him. Mm. Amen. Take your time. <laughs> many women were doing what? Ministering unto him. Preaching. They were following him, doing what? Ministering unto him. <laughs> Now, <laughs> let's break this down. Viewer, who do you think Jesus needed to teach him? My Lord. The book plainly states Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. All things. That's right. That's right. Amen. So why would you think Jesus need ministers or women to teach him? Yes they ministered unto him. 
But how? Uh, that's right. Your problem is you lack the term ministry, the meaning of the term. Right. Now, I have a host of secretaries through America mm -hmm. and foreign countries mm -hmm. that minister unto me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. But not one preach That's it. unto me. That's right. What do you mean minister? Minister simply means to serve, to help. That's right. Help those women. Let me show you what it means. Come on, Williams. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 3. Are you ready, three. script? I'm ready. Listen to what the book says. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 3. What is it? And I entreat thee also. How? True yoke fellow. What did Brother Paul say? Help those women. Help those women. Which help help those women. Help helps women. Those women. Which labored with me. Which labor with me. In the gospel. You see these women here? All of them labor with me. That's right. right. That's good. That's good. Certainly. That's Amen. right. Some are doctors. Amen. Some are lawyers. That's right. Amen. Some are accountants. That's right. That's right. Some are teachers. That's right. That's right. But none of them are God sent, God anointed, God instructed preachers. That's right. Why? That's right. God said, out of their mouth of Pastor Paul. In the 14th chapter of Corinthians, Corinthians, Paul, born in Tarsus, in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of a Pharisee, a doctor of the law named Gadmelia, who right. taught Paul, according to the perfect manner of the law, the ways of Musa, or the ways of Moses. But on his journey to Damascus, wisdom came down from heaven in the form of a light and stopped him and asked him, why are you persecuting me. That's right. He asked God, who are you? He said, I am Jesus whom thine persecuted. Mm -hmm. So he was led to a street called Straight and there was a man named Ananias, a disciple and a believer of God down there waiting to baptize Paul. Oh, yeah. Then when Paul received the Holy Ghost, he went straightway preaching that Jesus was the Christ right. because the light that came to him gave him the intelligence and the characteristics of God. That's right. Yeah. So now Paul, being a divine, God called, God sent, God anointed, God instructed, God made, God taught, heavenly appointed and heavenly authorized Go ahead. apostle, Go ahead. an ambassador to have permission to represent all heaven. That's Amen. right. Yeah. Amen. That's right. He was an ambassador with the ability right. and divine permission Amen. to represent all heaven. That's right. Right. Angels were forbidden to contradict the man Paul. That's Amen. right. Jabril and Michael and Raphael were forbidden to contradict the message that God gave Paul. That's Amen. right. So now Paul stops down in Corinth Amen. in the midst of a journey and an epistle is written here. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 34. Listen, begin at verse 33. At verse 33. What is it? For God is not the author God of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. But of peace. But of peace, meaning, but of cooperation. That's, right. That's what that means. That's right. right. See, when he said, but of peace in all the churches, cooperation right. introduces peace. That's, That's right. right. Listen at this. For God is not the author of confusion. But what? But of peace. But of cooperation. As in all churches of the saints. And all churches of the saints. Let your women. All right, all right, all right. Let your women. Keep silent. Keep silent. In the churches. In the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Now hold it. Amen. It isn't talking about praying. No. Hannah prayed. That's right. And brother Eli thought she was drunk. That's, That's right. right. Because he saw her mouth moving. That's right. But didn't hear no sound. No That's sound. right. It isn't talking about prophesying. Yes, sir. Amen. For Deborah and Anna were prophetess. That's right. That's right. It isn't talking about being in position of politics. No. That's right. Because Sheba was a political figure. That's right. If you were queen, you was a political figure because you had ruled over a kingdom. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. Glory That's to God. Right. Amen. That's right. It isn't talking about bearing witness to the truth. Amen. For the Bible says, say amen to That's the true. truth. That's yeah. right. Amen. It isn't talking about praying. For the book teaches us, be instant in prayer. It isn't right. talking about singing. Go ahead, right. Go ahead. So now you got to find out what is it what is it that god amen advises that's right. the woman amen. to be silent about that's right he's silent 
in reference to the women teaching, teaching. in the form That's right, sir. of usurping authority over the man and trying to break down scriptural law to God's people. That's right. Why do I use the term in the form? Give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. Amen. They give me the third chapter of the book of Titus. That's right. Or rather the second chapter second of chapter. the book of Titus. I want to balance out the women can teach Wonderful. and I want to balance out they can't teach. 1 Timothy Wonderful. chapter 2 and at verse 12. Listen. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But what? Nor to usurp authority over the man. All right, woman. Amen. If you can preach, mm -hmm. what title can you hold? That's right. That's right. That's right. Can you be a bishop? Amen. The Bible said a man, man that desired the office of a bishop, That's right. he desired the office of a good work. That's right. right. He must be the husband of one wife. He didn't say the wife of one husband. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Can you be a female deacon? It is no such thing as a deaconess. That's right. But it is such thing as a female mess. That's right. But not a deaconess. Amen. That's right. I right, listen to the old troublemaker. Amen. That's right. Amen. Go ahead, Can you be an elder? Nope. You cannot be an elder and preach the gospel. Amen. No. You don't have no female elders preaching the gospel in the book. That's right. right. Can you be a prophet? No. no. A prophet is a man, man. a prophetess is a woman so yes you can be a prophetess right. which is given to a woman to prophesy that's right what is prophecy prophecy is when a woman is divinely moved by the god of creation to foretell an event that's going to come in a city or a town or a village or to a person or to a people that's right. and when she prophesied or relate that divine message given to her that's by right. god himself she relate that message she She's not breaking down the scriptures. That's She's right. not itemizing God's law. That's she right. come by God's permission to give you prophecy. Right. Thus saith the Lord, you shall die in the year 2010. And she sits down. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Sir. But when she get up, I want to use for a text today. Amen. <laughs> oh, how David has slain the giant Goliath. That's right. That's right, sir. All you Go see, ahead, ahead. Ha, on, what right. the Lord. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Go ahead, boss. Let's keep it scriptural. That's, That's right. right. So this gang of women that you refer to in the book uh -huh. Amen. who follow Jesus, Amen. name one, name one. Preacher. Jesus declared that was a preacher. That's right. Right. Now let me give you revelation and make you think of something that none of you preachers ever thought of who believe in women preachers. Amen. To prove to you that there was no women preachers in Jesus' day. Go ahead. Because the only area of ministry That's right. that was available, mm -hmm. who Jesus was making, were apostles. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's Amen. right. That's the only office That's right. that he was making That's right. during his time of ministry. That's right. Where apostles, prophets was already here. That's right. Amen. Before the Messiah walked earth. That's right. Because the prophets right. represent the former house. That's right. So he had to establish the latter house. That's right. In order for the prophet Haggai words to be exact, that the latter house shall be greater than the former house. So the substance of the former house, which were the prophets, they were here. Go ahead. That's right. That's Amen. why Jesus bear title prophet and apostle that's, that's right, right. Both. because he represents the end that's right of brother of the former house Amen. and represent the beginning that's right. of the latter house Amen. Right. Do you understand that's right one right. 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 God never called never never, call. never. never have Amen. never will Call and send a woman to preach the gospel. Amen. If your mama is a woman preacher, Amen. your mama is a liar. That's right. If your grandmama is a woman preacher, That's right. your grandmama is a liar. Amen. Hey, hey, bishop, hey, bishop, elder, if your wife, if she's your assistant pastor or a preacher, Amen. then your wife, you're sleeping with a liar. That's right. 
That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Go ahead. That's the truth. You hear what the book says? But I suffer not a woman to teach. What else? Nor to usurp authority over the man. But what? But to be in silence. But why? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Then? And Adam was not deceived. But what? But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. All right, now, let me show you where the scriptures give women permission to teach and who they are allowed to teach. Amen. In the book of Titus chapter 2, beginning give, at verse 3. Give chapter and verse again. Titus chapter 2, and we'll begin at verse All three. right, my television viewers, I want you to get this and look at it good. I have dealt with this subject. I get thousands of letters about this one subject. Amen. Someone said, why you always deal with it? Because you women ain't got sense enough to sit down. That's right. Huh? That's right. As long as you're up, I got to pull the word down. Amen. Huh? Amen. Come on, son, let's have it. Titus chapter 2 and at verse 3. Women preachers and remarriage to divorce are one of the two largest subjects in the world. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. I got some women following me now that were women preachers. Right. But they were resurrected. Right. Came out the pulpit. That's right. Now, besides trying to preach from the Bible, they come and follow us in the Bible. Amen. All right, viewer, viewer, get your, get your Bible. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. That goes for you too, woman. That's right. Get your Bible. Don't let your bacon burn now. Turn your, turn your, turn your pan down. That's turn right. it down. God, turn your pan down now and just get your Bible. That's right. Come up to the kitchen table and sit and follow me. That's it. You got your Bible? Yeah, man. Titus chapter 2. God, give you time. Go ahead. Titus chapter 2, we'll begin at verse 3. Come on, William. The aged women likewise. Aged women, older women, mothers That's right. yes, in God. The Elect ladies, if Amen. you will. Amen. All right. The aged women likewise. Uh -huh. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Now. Holiness is a lifestyle. Yes, sir. Amen. God demands that you behave holiness in a holy manner. That's right. All right. Not false accusers. Not going around making false accusations. Not giving too much wine. Not giving too much. Too much wine. Too much wine. Too much wine. Now we got to find, when it says too much, too much, that gives space where she can have some. That's, That's right. right. But now I just can't leave it just like that. No, no, no. I can't leave it like that now. No way. I, did you hear what I said? That's um, right. Yeah. That's right. Because see, if I let the brother keep reading, one of you Nick picking viewers will say, oh, what about the too much? Yeah. What about the too much? I'm down, down, down I got an aged woman now looking at me with the bottle. That's right. That's you, right. you ain't touched that passage in it. All right, Grandma, and I'm about to get it right now. Right now, amen. Right now. Right now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now, glory to God. Amen. When the book says, Not giving too much wine. Not giving too much wine. You got to find where in scriptural law right. is wine permitted. That's That's right. Now, That's right. wine is permitted when we serve the Lord's Supper. That's why the Bible said they sup. They ain't walking around just drinking up everything. Oh, they Sup. That's right. Now, the other place in the Bible, in the book of Timothy, where wine is permitted, the book says, for your stomach's sake. That's right. Is that right? That's yeah. right. That's what the Bible teaches. First That's Timothy right. chapter 5 and verse 23. First Timothy 5, 23 says, Drink no longer water. Drink no longer water. But use a little wine. How much? A little wine. A fifth. A little wine. A quart. A little wine. A gallon. A little wine. A glass full. A little wine. A whole can of booze. A little wine. Amen. All right, Grandma, put your bottle down. That's right. That's right. Amen. Do you hear what the Bible says? But use a little wine. For what? For thy stomach's sake. Why? And thy often infirmity. So, my television viewer, that's the time where God permits the woman to use wine for her stomach's sake and her often infirmity, but she must fall under the scriptural text of a little. Little. That's right. That's right. Now, when you find yourself sweating until wine is coming out of your pores, you have went beyond a little. That's right. When you find yourself getting hazy and daisy and glazy, That's right. you have used more than a little. That's yeah. right. Oh, you get what I'm telling you? Amen. All right, come on, Williams. Let's go now and finish up. Back in Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. I want to show you where women are allowed to teach and who they should teach. That's not, not given to much wine. Yes. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things, but who are they allowed to teach? That they may teach the young women. Now, mothers, the old, experienced, God-fearing, righteous mother. Amen. Teach the young women what? That they may teach the young women to be sober. You didn't say teach the whole church? No, no, sir. No, no, no. no sir. 
Teach the young women how to be sober, how to be stable minded. That's right. Have a foundation in your mind. That's right. You're not unstable so easy. You're not so mentally flexible. That's it. Until you don't jump at every two legged dog that cross your path. That's right. You have some stability. You know how to be focused. That's right. You can't be lured with a dollar or lured with a good car or lured with a good grade of hair. That's right. You have some some sober. stability. Amen. Right. You are sober. Sober. Right. Come on, sir. To love their husband. Love your husband if you got one. That's right. If you got one, love him. Treat him good. Right. Ah. Respect right. him. Yeah. And at the same time, husband, you respect her if you are respecting right. maternity. That's right. right. Listen. To love their children. Love your children. When the aged woman is teaching the sister how to love her children, the teaching of disciplining your children also come into play. That's right. right. So you teach how to love your children, how to discipline your children and woman. If your husband discipline your children, don't you come to defend your children and you know your children is wrong. That's right. If you right. disagree with your husband's methodology of discipline, don't ever bring your grievance to your husband in the presence of your children because all you do is teach your child confusion and now you're teaching them how to take sides. That's right. So you settle your grievances or your disagreement in the way your husband have chastised the child out of the presence of the children. That's right. Listen. To be discreet. Teach the young girl how to be discreet. Amen. How to conduct, be discreet. Want to be no loud, boisterous, crazy woman. That's right. How to be discreet, be ladylike. That's right, Not masculine. Amen. Most of these things they claim their woman preacher act like a man. That's right. Walk like a man, act like a man, talk like a man. That's right. That's right. You would think they came from uh, Dykesville. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I say you I think they came from Dykesville. That's right. See, so you, you got you got Danville, you got many places, uh, Holmesville, Flower Town, and all that. But uh, you got a place, uh, Dykesville. Amen. You understand? That's right. And, and in Dykesville, go ahead, go ahead. Brother. Men act like, or rather, women act like men. Amen. And now let me tell you something. And if you look at this spirit that's in women preachers, the masculine like men. And most of them husbands are henpecks. Amen. Man ain't got a voice in his house and he ain't got a voice at church. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I say he don't have a voice. Listen, a yeah. man that's a real man and you're going to walk around and don't have a voice in your house, Amen. you're not a man. That's right. Right. Amen. Now, when I say have a voice in your house, that don't mean your wife can't say nothing. That's right. Bring it on, and bro. that don't mean that give you the right to cuss your wife out. Yeah. And that don't give you the right to physically abuse your wife. Yeah. That's, right. that's not what makes you a man. That's right. If your criteria of a man that's slapping your wife, beating your wife, kicking your wife, cussing your wife out you don't know what a man is in yeah. fact you are less yeah. than a man That's yeah. right. even if you pay all the bills That's right. you're still less than a man yeah. because there's more in life than bill paying That's right. yeah. am i right i said yeah. come on Williams. Yeah. to be discreet to be discreet chase chase keepers at home she know how to keep her house in order. That's right. You don't right. raise daughters to try to be their big sister. You raise a daughter and be that girl's mother. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. You don't allow your daughters to give you word for word, mouth to mouth. Amen. You young daughters, you're not born into the world to live under your mother and father roof to tell them when you're going to do anything. That's you right. ask, yes. can I have company? That's right. Can I? Go to the store. That's right. Can I Amen. go to the mall? Right. Can, I Can I talk to her? Amen. No, you cannot talk to him. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right, sir. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Amen. My God, I can take that to a whole other telecast. Oh, yeah. Come on, Williams. Keepers <laughs> at home. Know how to keep your house in order. That's good. Right. What? Good. Be a good woman. That's right. Good women are just as easy to come by as it is a cat that wear a derby and perform for the burlesque show. That's right, man. That's right. Hard to find a good woman. That's a, that's a rare jewel. That's right. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, that's like digging in the earth for a thousand years to find a particular size diamond. That's right. A good woman is not a materialist. She don't love you when you just have money. That's right. 
She loves you from the heart when the love is legit. That's right. right. If That's you right. never have money, she's not a materialist. She's not always begging you. When you gonna give me this? When you gonna give me that? When you gonna give me the other? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Good woman don't mind doing for a good man. That's right. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. But good man know how to treat the good woman. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Amen. That's Listen. Right. Obedient to their own husband. Obey your own husband. That's, That's right. right. Obey your own husband. Sometimes men have a complaint that their wives are hard head. How are you treating her? Yeah. How are you treating her? That's right, man. Are you causing her to be a rebel? That's right. Are you creating rebellion in your own house? That's right. Amen. How are you treating the woman? That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You slap the woman, she gonna start slapping back. That's right. right. You push the woman, she gonna start pushing and kicking back. That's right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. There's no maybe so about it. That's right. You intimidate the woman, you keep it up, she gonna wake up from that intimidation and start trying to intimidate back. Oh That's yeah. Right. I would not be slapping and kicking the woman that cooked my food. No That's way. Right. No, sir. Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. I will not That's right. be smacking and kicking the woman who's going to prepare my food. That's right. No. Right. No. 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 That's not, that's not right. intelligent. That's, that's right. That's not intelligent. That's right. Why use a fool that's and right. a good fool? Amen. Amen. Come on, Will. Obedient to their own husband. Now, this is what the aged mothers teach the young sisters how to do these things mm -hmm. that the word of God be not blasphemed. That's it. So the scripture that you read and brother read in the book of Matthew, mm -hmm. where the women that followed Jesus minister, they simply mean they served. That's right. I show you a woman in the Bible that served Jesus when she washed her feet and wiped it with her hair. With her hair, right. that's right. She was ministering to him. That's right. Huh? That's she was right. ministering because the apostles was ready to jump on her. Jump on right. But they wasn't going to jump on her because she was preaching. No, no. They was jumping on her because they felt as though the oil she was using was wasteful. That's, That's right. right. That's what that was. That's right. right. But she was ministering unto Jesus. That's, That's right. right. She served him. She served him. That's all that is. Amen. All right. Next letter. Jamaica West Indies again. All right. This person says, my husband was baptized. My husband was baptized in the titles Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Being that the husband is to lead, what can be done? If the husband is the leader? Yes, what can be done? Well, you can encourage him and talk to him in reference to his baptism. Mm -hmm. And if he becomes stubborn, you know, as many of us men can be, make reference to a preacher. Recommend. Recommend. That's right. A preacher. Ah. Recommend a preacher. In fact, tune him into this broadcast. That's right. That's, That's right. right. If your husband was baptized, hey, 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 is she got a name there? Sophia. Sophia. Sophia Torton. Sophia Torton. 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 Yes. Where from? From Jamaica, just Jamaica. All right, Jamaica, I don't know what part. Sophia, let me talk to you. Amen. Pretty sure there's a whole lot of Sophias in Jamaica. <laughs> but you know who you are. That's right. Now, sir, your wife is concerned about your baptism because you're baptized wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to get upset now. Don't get upset. Let's have a chat. I'm talking to you all the way in Jamaica now. Amen. Sophia, get your husband. This is your hour. This is your life. That's right. <laughs> Sophia, go get your husband. That's right. <laughs> let's, have a, let's have a little rap session. Sophia, your husband, and PJ, let's have a rap session. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, your wife, don't get upset now, just sit down. Just be cool. <laughs> your wife is kind of concerned in reference to your baptism, sir. She see that you are baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. You are the leader of the house. You are the man of the house. That's true. But please, let us not assume because you are a man that you're always right. That's right. Now, if your wife, Sophia, is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, then I want to tell you that if she's talking to you about your baptism, she's right. Amen. Yes, she's right. You are baptized wrong. That's right. What did you say? You said you obeyed Jesus. No, you didn't. That's right. You did not obey Jesus. No, Let me show you what Jesus said in Matthew 28, 19. Matthew let, let, hold, let, shut out now. You know, don't get upset. You know, don't right. go argue with her because she wrote me That's and right. now I'm talking to you. That's right. That's don't right. get upset and don't go blasting her when the program come off. Go off because I'll be back next week. That's, That's right. right. That's right. 
Now, listen at this. Matthew 28 and verse 19. Matthew 28 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. All right, Jamaica, I want to teach you now. That's mm -hmm. right. Baptizing them. In the name. In what? In the name. In what? In the name. In what? In the name. In the N A N me. In the name of? Of the Father. And, and of the Son. And, and of the Holy Ghost. Brother, husband of Sophia. That's right. <laughs> what is the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? The name. Now, sir, I'm a father, I'm a son, I'm a husband. That's right. I'm a brother, I'm a minister, That's right. I'm a boxer, I'm a wrestler. Yes, sir. I'm all these things. That's right. But I have a name. That's right. right. So if I tell someone to do something, in my name, That's right. uh, if I give someone a check for doing work, I got to sign my name. That's Amen. it. I can't put down there brother. That's right. That's right. Or just father. That's Amen. right. Or husband. That's right. You know, because they can take it to the bank, mm -hmm. but the power, the quickening power, the resurrection power for that check That's right. is in my name. That's, That's right. right. So, sir, what is the name of the father? Mm -hmm. Son. Holy Ghost. Notice Jesus did not say name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. That's right. It was one name, one name that three titles is attached to, just right. like my name is Jennings, but the title husband, father, and son That's is right. attached to me. That's right. Make it plain. Sir. God have the title Father. Oh. Father. Father means the originator oh. of creation. That's right. That's right. Father of creation. That's right. The originator of creation. That's that's right. His flesh right. bears the title son. 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 What do you mean his flesh? Mm -hmm. Because the flesh of the Messiah was created by God. That's so right. he is the son of God. God owned that flesh. And within that flesh was the characteristics of God. That's so right. after God created the flesh, he gave the flesh his name, his name. to properly identify That's right. the flesh. That's, That's right. right. That's why the flesh took on the name Jesus. Us and function in the capacity of Christ. So to it, God was in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. And then Jesus publicized his father's name. That's, That's right. right. Holy Ghost That's right. is a title That's right. showing the function or the characteristics of God. What is God's function Wonderful. in the capacity of Holy Ghost? Holy. Mm -hmm. Keeper. Keeper. One that moves upon. Yes. One that anoints. That's right. One that feels. That's right. One that come in and cast out. Amen. That's the function Amen. That's right. of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So when you are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and remember he said baptize in it. That's right. So baptizing is a deed. That's right. And if he said do it in the name of, then in the name of mean words must be utilized when this deed yeah. is performed. That's right. So now let's get Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17 Colossians and 3, see 17. how must we perform this deed of baptism when utilizing the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. I hope you can Excellent. get this. And whatsoever you do, whatsoever, whatsoever you do, whatsoever. you do in word, in word or deed, how do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, sir, you are baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Father is a title, Son is a title, Holy Ghost is a title. Right. And remember, God have a lot of titles. That's, That's right. right. He's called I Am, mm -hmm. the Rock, the Rock. That's right. the Stone. That's right. Fire, right. Holy One, right. Holy One of God, right. the Amen, right. Amen. Shiloh, Amen. Seed of David, yes, sir. Offspring of David, right. King. Yes, sir. He have a lot of titles. That's right. Are we to use these numerous of titles mm -hmm. along with Father when we baptize? Oh, no. The prophet Zechariah teaches us. Zechariah 14 and verse 9. Begin at verse 7. At verse 7. What is it? But it shall be one day which shall be Verse known. 6. Verse 6. What is it? And it shall come to pass in that day. That what? That the light shall not be clear. Verse 5. Verse 5. What happened? And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountain. And? For the valley of the mountain shall reach unto Azel. Yeah. Ye shall flee like as ye fled before the earthquake. Yeah. In the days of Uzziah king of Judah. All right. And the Lord my God shall come. What happened? And all the saints with thee. Mm-hmm. And it shall come to pass in that day, in that, day that the light the light 
shall not be clear. That light, you see, this is what happened. That's there right. is some light in Jamaica. Yeah, the right. problem is, it's not clear. That's, that's right. right. You have read Matthew 20 and 19. You read light, right. but it's not clear to you. That's, that's right. right. Because you read the light, but you didn't obey the light, so therefore you misunderstand the light. That's, that's right. right. So to you, the light is not clear. That's, that's right. the light shall not be clear. Nor what? Nor dark. It's not dark because it is there. That's, that's right. right. But it shall be one day known to the Lord, not day nor not day night. Or night. But it shall come to pass that at evening time, it shall be what? It shall be light. That means evening. Now, evening. Now it is. Let me enlarge on evening. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. When the sun is about to descend, oh, yeah. we goes into the evening. That's right. Evening means latter time of that day. That's right. So when it says in evening time, that means in the latter days. That's right. Eh? That's, That's right. right. In the latter days. Right. See, evening. Cool. Do you get what I'm telling you? Go That's ahead. Right. You see, evening means the latter time. That's right. The closing time. That's right. The end time That's right. of that day. Amen. So now we're in the latter time. We're in the last days. Right. We're at the end time, the latter days. That's right. That's what evening time means. That That's at right. evening time, what happened? it shall be light. And the light is clear too, brother. That's right. The evening That's time right. it shall be light, but what? And it shall be in that day uh -huh. that living water shall go out from Jerusalem. One half. Toward the former sea. The other half. Toward the hinder sea. What about season time? In summer and winter shall it be. What's the results? And the Lord shall be king. Here it is. Glory to God. One. Glory to God. And again I say glory to God. And the Lord shall, the Lord be, king shall be king over, over all the earth. Uh -huh. And what's going to happen? In that day. In what day? In that day. Now, what was the day that was being established? Evening time. Evening That's Right. Huh? That's Amen. right. In that day, Shall that means evening time. In the latter time. That's right. So That's right. when That's right. Jesus came That's here, right. he introduced the latter, times. The latter time. That's, That's right. right. Because he came with a latter day message. That's, That's right. right. He was a last day prophet. That's, That's right. right. Huh? Go ahead. He was a latter day prophet. Go ahead. The last days right. begin with Jesus' arrival. Go ahead. Right. That was the introduction of the last day. Right. Listen. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. And what? In that day. In that day. Shall there be one Lord. And his name. And his name one. How many names you got to operate under? And his name one. How many names you got to operate under? One. Let's find out that one name we should operate under. Acts chapter 9 and verse 5. What is it? And he said, who art thou, Lord? Do you see this? Amen. Right. Who art thou, Lord? Hey, this, this one day, this last day name. That's, That's right. right. Give That's right. This latter day name. That's right. Glory to God. And he said, Who art thou, this Lord? This latter day name of this one Lord. That's Amen. right. Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, And the Lord said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. I am Jesus. Whom thou persecutest. Persecuted. That's right. So, sir, in Jamaica, you are baptized wrong. Amen. You got to go back in water. You got to be baptized all over again. All That's over right. Again. Regardless right. that you the lead of the head of your house. Amen. You may be the head, but uh, you got the wrong baptism, sir. That's right. That's right. So, That's Sophia, I hope I help you, sir. I hope we're able to help you so you can go back in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And I pray that God fill you with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. All right? Amen. All right, next letter. This person says, uh, on the subject of speaking in tongues, mm -hmm. why doesn't pastor and others speak in tongues when it appears that the Holy Spirit has touched them? Is T.D. Jakes in the category of false preachers? What is your answer? Hmm. Lord. Oh, have a good time. Amen. Amen. Use them all. Amen. 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 Now, <laughs> in reference to speaking in tongues, uh -huh. speaking in tongues is the evidence That's right. that one had the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's right. It was filled with the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. It was prophesied that tongues would be uttered. Would be uttered. Amen. The word of God teaches us with a stammering lip and another tongue, they shall speak unto my people. Amen. Now, speaking in tongue or new tongue have more than one meaning. That's right. Not only when you are a new creature after you obtained a new birth mm -hmm. by repenting of your sins and baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, that's when you're born again. That's right. the truth. Amen. So, when you receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, the Spirit of God utter a tongue out of you that you never spoke before. That's Amen. right. That's right. But also, there is a change in the natural tongue. Amen. That's right. Because there is a translation or a change or an alteration. That's right. Of your former way of talking. Amen. That's right. Amen. You know the way you used to cuss people out when all they did was walk by you? That's right. That's right. That's right. You know somebody look at you. 
What the so and so you looking at? That's Amen. right. Well, when you find your tongue now being converted, that's right, sir. Amen. Your attitude is being converted. That's right. Your temperament. That's right. Is being converted. You see, new creature is the transformation of his inner mind, his Amen. inner heart, his mind, his emotion, his thinking, his thought pattern. That's right. Everything about him is right. the trend. In other words, let's, let, let me liken it to the animal world. That's right. To make you better understand. The transformation of a new creature is a gradual process. Amen. As a caterpillar. That moves slowly in his former life. That's right. That's right. His life as a caterpillar, his function on the earth. He's on his belly. Go ahead. Inching along. That's right. And he's limited in certain capacities of his existence. That's right. That's right. But it comes a certain time in life that the caterpillar forms what is called a cocoon. Right. Which is a dwelling place That's right. That's right. where he dwells right. secretly right. by himself. That's right. Right. And he stayed there until the right period of time had passed over him That's right. by God's permission. That's right. If you open the cocoon before time, he looked as if he's dead. That's right. right. But he's there in his grave. That's right. That's right. Waiting resurrection. for the resurrection. That's That's right. Right. Yeah. At the right time, without help from anybody else but God. Yeah, that's right. That's right, sir. When his time of his conversion that's is right. complete, that's right. he breaks Fullness. from the cocoon. That's right, sir. Why? The fullness of time has come. That's right. right. And now his former life is no more. That's Amen. right. Because his former life, he was calling on the belly. That's Amen. Right. But now he got a new life. He yes. ascends right. from the earth. That's right. And now mingle in the heaven. Amen. Showing Amen. you the transformation. That's right. That's the He become a new creature. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Not only is he a new creature new nature. in look, That's in right. In performance, That's right. but he also take on a new name. That's, That's right. right. Huh? Amen. That's right. His former name, Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Yeah. Right, new name, Butterfly. Butterfly. Right. Amen. Former name, Amen. Sinner. Amen. New name, Go ahead. a saint. That's right. Wonderful, sir. Glory to God. Let's go ahead. Excellent, sir. You understand? Go ahead. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Beautiful. Beautiful. Glory to God. Amen. I hope you can get this. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. But the transformation Go ahead. of the conversion process Amen. Amen. is slow. That's Amen. right. That she put off. You don't find no caterpillar, go inside of the cocoon, and jump right out. No, you don't. He must dwell there for a while. That's right. Why? He got to take on new skin. That's right. That's right. That's In right. fact, he got to take on things he never even had before. That's true. He changed. That's right. Because in the cocoon, he shed all the old skin off. That's yeah. right. Oh, yes. That's right. Oh, he got to pull off all the former skin. Oh, no, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's he got to right. pull it off. That's that's off. Right. That's that's right. Right. And while that's he's right. in the cocoon, that's right. he goes through a stage of what is called metamorphosis. That's, that's right. right. Conversion. That's, that's right. right. Being changed. That's, that's right. right. Old things is cast away. That's that's right. Right. The whole old right. things right. become new. Amen. That's right. Amen. Excellent, sir. He crawled to make the cocoon. That's right. No, no. But now he fly out That's right. from the cocoon. That's, That's right. right. So Thank now you. his new life is greater exalted, exalted. than his former life. That's right. right. Because the new life highly exalts exalted. him. That's, That's right. right. It takes him up, That's up, right. up as someone ascends out the ground yes, like sir. Lazarus. That's Wonderful. Right. Wonderful. So the caterpillar is like a Lazarus insect. That's right. Former. That's right. But yet is resurrected. That's right. That's the way your conversion must be. That's right. That's right. Are you getting me? Amen. What did you have, son? In Ephesians chapter Excellent. 4. Everybody all right? Amen. Amen. Take your time. Listen. Ephesians One. chapter 4, we're at verse 22. Yeah. That ye put off concerning the former conversation. That's right. The you old put man. off the old man. That's, That's right. right. So when you find people speaking in town, Spirit of God moving on them. Mm -hmm. Any church that preach you don't have to speak in tongue, 
is the church of Satan. That's, That's right. right. Amen. 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 I don't care if they call themselves apostolic. Mm -hmm. That's right. They are the church of Satan. Amen. Everywhere the apostles went. Yes, my governor Holy Ghost fell on the day of Pentecost. Before you know it, here come the apostles traveling. That's right. Amen. Go down to Samaria. Mm -hmm. They were baptized by Brother Philip. That's right. When the word got to the apostles that they received the word, yes, they come in town. Oh, they hands on them. That's right. Holy Ghost fall. Holy Ghost Simon the sorcerer offered money. Mm -hmm. Peter said, Your money going to perish with you. That's right. While Apollos was at Corinth, Paul passed through the upper coast, stopped in Ephesus, and find John disciples. That's right. Did you receive the Holy Ghost? Since you believe, we haven't heard about it. Mm -hmm. How were you baptized? We got John baptism. Mm -hmm. Paul said, John preached, you should believe on him that come after him, that's on Christ Jesus. That's right. When they heard it, they were baptized. Were baptized. Paul laid hands on them. Wonderful. They received the Holy Ghost. Yeah, right. Everywhere the apostles Everywhere. went, the message was plain. Baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, that's born of the water. Right. And the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, that's born of the Spirit. That's, that's right. what Jesus taught Nicodemus. That's, that's right. right. And that's right. reference to T.D. Jokes. 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 Yeah. Jokes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. TV jokes. He's a joke. Go ahead. Your measuring stick, brothers and sisters, no. viewers, of a man of God is his fame. That's right. Or his size following. That's right. That's right. That's right. Fame, a large following, mm -hmm. is irrelevant. That's right. Amen. Amen. A false prophet is one that preached Jesus. That's right. Yes, he will. He preached Christ. That's right. He preached against some sin. That's right. That's right. But things that the Bible speak against, mm -hmm. touch it. he will change and uphold. That's right. Here the Bible said, I suffer not a woman to teach no use of authority over the man. That's right. T.D. Jace got women preachers in his pulpit. That's right. Amen. Here the Bible says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. T.D. Jakes do not believe in a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ at all. Amen. That's right. In fact, he teach you don't have to be baptized. Amen. Now, if he say you don't have to be baptized, then that being Jake the snake is a liar. That's right. right. Because Jesus said, you must That's right. be born Amen. again That's right. of the water. That's right. That's, That's right. Spirit. Of the water. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. And, and of the spirit. And of the spirit. Jake says, be born of the spirit. Right. That's not enough. That's right. right. Jesus said, be born of the water and That's of the spirit. That's right. Amen. That's right. Another doctrine. Too. Some of it ain't good enough. Oh, no. Gotta have all of it. All right. Right. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 T.D. Jakes don't believe that the women should cover their head. That's no. right. And the Bible said in 11 chapter 1 Corinthians 4, this cause of the woman to have power on her head That's because right. of the angels. Amen. Jakes don't see nothing wrong with wearing earrings, finger rings, nose jewels, and ankle chains like church going Christian hoes. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. The word of our God says Go in that day God shall take away the tickling ornaments from about the feet. That's they right. cause their round tires like the moon, That's their right. chains, That's their right. rings, Bracelet. their bracelets. That's right. The word of God, their nose jewels. Okay. That's right. That's right. The Bible said in the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 30, That's when right. thou art spoiled, what you going to do? That's right. Right. Though you deck yourself in crimson Invent. and you rent your face That's with right. paint, paint, which right. is today makeup. Make right. The right. prophet said in vain. Yeah. Do thou make thyself fair. Shelf fair. That's right. If it was vain to the prophets then, That's right. why is it not vain to you television liars now? That's right. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. How is it? Why in God's church? That's Amen. right. You should not have no bareheaded women. Right. You should not have Amen. no lipstick. That's right. No makeup. That's right. No eyebrow arching. Amen. No rouge on your face. That's right. No deep cut backs. That's right. No splits in your clothes. That's right. No walking around with ankle chains. That's right. Amen. Modest you was transformed Amen. from a worm Amen. to a butterfly. Amen. 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 That's right. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. But these old slick liars right. who take on the nature of their daddy, the devil. That's right. God ain't looking at your outward. That's yeah. Right. He looking at your heart. That's right. right. God looking at the whole thing. That's right. Your outward and the heart. That's yeah. right. He strive, he, he, he wants you to strive so your heart can get right first. That's, That's right. It. But then when the heart get right, 
Everything on the outside start to gradually fall in place. That's right. So that ring come off. That's right. That's right. The earrings come off. That's right. Amen. You stop arching your eyebrows. That's right. And you are thankful for the shape that God gave them. That's right. You will stop processing and straightening and burning your hair out. Amen. You'll stop putting glitter in your hair. That's right, man. You'll stop putting beads in your hair. Amen. That's right, brother. You'll stop putting a little powder on your face. That's right. On the mirror in the morning. That's right. That's right. What's that for? What's that for? I make your lips look no better. Amen. That's right. What's wrong with the way God made you? That's right. You don't like the way God made you. That's right. I don't like it. Too. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. God, I want to help you while I can. Amen. So not only Jake's, all of these fellas out here on television. I don't care who they are, and them that's not on television. That's right. What if God is here is a roadmap to our eternal life? That's right. Amen. The reason why they don't, you don't hear these men preaching these things, because for some strange reason, even though it's in the book. Let me tell you what they do to justify themselves. Oh, man. Jake's to say, oh, ain't nothing wrong with the women wearing gold. Uh, oh. Because I see New Jerusalem right, right. and the streets are paved with gold. Yeah. And the streets, if they pay with gold, you can have gold on your finger. Liar. That's a lie, uh, man. He's using logic. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm not New Jerusalem. That's right. That's right. Uh, I got to strip off. That's right. What does gold in New Jerusalem represent? That's right. Amen. Go gold represents a city that's precious, that's right. valuable. That's right. That's right. That's right. The gold in your ears and the gold in your mouth and the gold on your ankle right. don't make you precious. God is what makes us precious. That's right. That's right. Amen. God, I said. Amen. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Amen. No. I, don't, no. I don't need no earrings. That's right. I don't need no necklace. No, That's right. I don't need ankle chains. That's right. I want my precious value come from God. That's, That's right. right. With the knowledge of God. Wonderful. Sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wonderful. Sir. Wonderful. I may not can wear a twenty thousand dollar watch. That's right. Go ahead. But I, re I can get a free God. That's right. Amen. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, sir. First, Tim First Timothy chapter 2 and at verse 9. Come on, Will. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What? With shame faces. Shame faces. And sobriety. Sobriety. Not with broided hair. And what else? Or gold. Or gold. Or pearls. Pearl. Or oh, oh. Pearl finger rings, pearl necklaces. Yeah. yeah. Big old round pearl around your neck. That's right. What else? Or costly array. Two and three and four hundred thousand dollars. Who would spend a thousand dollars for one suit? Mm. Mm. A thousand dollars? A thousand dollars. Costly array. Costly. Spend above your means. That's right. Above it? That's right. Can't afford it. Amen. Costly. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. I'm gonna try to live like somebody else. That's right. Above oh. your means. That's right. Stay where you can manage. Right. That way you don't try to compete with the other party. That's right. That's right. And then get in debt. That's right. And now when you're in debt, you watch an earnest angel. <laughs> That's right. Who believed yeah. the way to get you out of debt is send him some money. Amen. Right. Which will put you in more debt. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old man? That's right. That's right. Yes, Jake's and these other ones are yes, false prophets. False prophets. Ministers of the devil. Agents, they are satanic agents Our Lord. sent to peddle the beliefs That's right. of Baal. Amen. That's right. All right, Dan. This letter says, and it's on the subject of raised hands in prayers. It says, Brother Jennings, greetings. I've noticed that the saints at First Church, when praying, raise, in, raise their hands in prayer. Yeah. Have their hands down, have their palms down. Yes. This is new to me, and I have heard others say the Muslim pray in this manner. Yes. Do you teach that this is the proper way to lift up holy hands? Amen. Does it matter what direction the palms face? If so, please direct me to where in scripture that God instructs us to use this. Let's read. First Timothy chapter two. Listen. And we're at verse eight. All right. I will therefore that men pray everywhere. Yes. Lifting up holy hands. Lifting up holy hands. Now. Lifting is any position opposite from this. That's right. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. Any position. That's right. Lifting is any position, any position. opposite from this. That's, That's right. right. 
That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. My hands is raised. You can't save the down. That's right. No. That's right. No, no. Now, the direction of your palms is irrelevant. Irrelevant. Yes, it is. So what you gonna do if a person may not have no hands? That's right. And all they can do is raise from wrist up. That's right. Are you gonna say it's not raised? That's right. Now you're trying to strain at a net and swallow, swallow a camel. camel. That's Amen. Right. If my hands is up like this, mm -hmm. I can reach God. That's Amen. right. I can talk to him. Amen. That's right. I can pray to him. Amen. My hands is up like this, it don't make God no closer. No, no it won't. So That's if right. you wanna go like this, go ahead. That's right. If I play like this, mm -hmm. I'm all right. Still all right. It's not a Muslim thing. No. The no. Lord just say, lift holy hands. Lift That's right. Holy hands. Down. That's right. Up. That's it. Down. That's right. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do this side. See if you can get it. Down. That's right. Up. That's right. Down. That's right. <laughs> up. That's up. Let's let, let's get it from this angle. Let's get it from this angle. Down. That's right. Up. Amen. That's right. Down, up. That's, That's it. Right. Don't be a fool now. Be a fool. That's right. That's right. right. Lifting up holy hands. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You criticize it because Muslims do it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Or how the other religions do it? That's right. Because the other religion do it, that doesn't make it wrong. That's right. right. Because scripturally, mm -hmm. That's right. When it comes time for kneeling, praying, that's right. On your face. Ninety-nine point nine churches kneel wrong. That's right. Amen. In Islam, kneel right. That's right. Mm. Because the way Islam kneel is the way the prophet Elijah kneel. That's right. Mm. All right. All right. All right. It is right. plainly written that he bowed his face to the ground. Right. To the ground. To the ground. Uh, you don't true. find no one in the scriptures kneeling the way most churches deal today. Uh, Amen. No, you don't. That's right. If you look at the scripture when prayer was being done. That's right. This is the way they prayed. Yes, That's sir. right. Amen. That's right. In the scripture. In the scripture. That's right. That's right. Sir. Nobody was beating on no chair. Oh Lord, blah, blah. <laughs> no, right. no, no, no. In the scripture. That's, That's right. right. To the ground. That's right. To the scripture. That's right. And Elijah went to the top of Carmel. Get chapter and verse. In the book of 1 Kings, chapter 18, and at verse 42. Don't you know we deal with all scripture? All scripture. I don't run from no subject. No, no, no. no. Can't do that. God, I tackle anything. Yes, that's, that's right. right. You know, when you believe in hardcore football, we believe in tackling you from any side. That's, that's right. right. Is that right? That's, that's right. right. We hit you from any. We are, we are faith masters. That's, that's right. right. Close line here. Yeah, yeah. Our objective is to bring you down. That's, that's right. right. That's right. I touch any subject under the sun. That's right. right. I have no problems in saying a certain religion is right in a subject. That's right. right. When that, what, with what they're doing, I don't, even if it's Jehovah's Witnesses, yeah, if they do something that's not in contradict of the Bible, I got to say amen to it. Amen. Got to say it. That's, that's, right. that's, that's, that's right, sir. Got to do it. That's, that's true. true. Amen to the truth. I say amen to what truth they have, and then I kill them with all the lies they have. That's, that's right. right. Amen. Come on, son. First Kings chapter 18 and at verse 42. Follow me. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. <laughs> Elijah <laughs> went to the top of Mount Carmel. Yeah. And he cast himself down. He cast himself down. Upon the earth. Upon the earth. And put his face. Put his face. Between his knees. Between his knees. That's it. That's right. Amen. Scripture. Way down, son. Take the time, bro. Work with Amen. Your face is not between your knees like this. No, sir. No, it's You're not. You're relaxing. That's why most of you sleep in church. <laughs> That's right. Right in the That's right. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I want you to give this, girl. Amen. Amen. What did the book say? And he cast himself down he upon the earth. He cast himself down where? Upon the earth. Upon the earth. And Amen. put his face between his knees. That's the way most of you church folks are. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. <laughs> or oh, to get real relaxed. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Amen. 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 You stop arching your eyebrows. That's right. And Amen. you are thankful for the shape that God gave them. That's, That's right. right. You will stop processing and straightening and burning your hair out. Amen. You'll stop putting glitter in your hair. That's right. Amen. You'll stop putting beads in your hair. Amen. Amen. That's right, right, brother. You stop putting a little powder on your face. That's right. Sir. On the mirror in the morning. That's right. That's right. 
Uh, What's that for? What's that for? I make your lip look no better. Amen. That's right. What's wrong with the way God made you? That's right. You don't like the way God made you. That's right. I don't like it too. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. God, I want to help you while I can. Amen. So not only Jake's. All of these fellas out here on television, I don't care who they are, yeah. and them that's not on television. Right. The word of God is here, the roadmap to our eternal life. That's right. Amen. The reason why they don't, you don't hear these men preaching these things, because for some strange reason, even though it's in the book, mm -hmm. let me tell you what they do to justify themselves. Oh, man. Jake's to say, oh, ain't nothing wrong with the women wearing gold. Oh. Uh, because I see New Jerusalem, right. and the streets are paved with gold. Yeah. And the streets, if they pay with gold, you can have gold on your finger. Liar! That's a lie, uh, man. He's using logic. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm not New Jerusalem. That's right. That's right. I got to strip off. That's Amen. Right. What does gold in New Jerusalem represent? That's right. Amen. Go gold represents a city that's precious, that's right. valuable. That's right. That's right. Valuable. That's right. The gold in your ears and the gold in your mouth and the gold on your ankle right. don't make you precious. God is what makes us precious. That's right. That's right. God, I said. That's right. Am I right? That's right. I don't need ankle chains. That's right. I want my precious value come from God. That's, That's right. right. Need the knowledge of God. Wonderful. Sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wonderful. Sir. Wonderful. I may not can wear a twenty thousand dollar watch. That's right. Go ahead. But I, I can get a free God. That's right. Amen. Oh yeah. That's up. Amen. Amen. Are right, you listening to Amen. the old man? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen. First, Tim First Timothy chapter 2 and at verse 9. Come on, Will. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What? With shame faces. Shame faces. And sobriety. Sobriety. Not with broided hair. And what else? Or gold. Or gold. Or pearls. Pearl. Or oh. Pearl finger rings, pearl necklaces. Yeah. Big old round pearl around your neck. That's right. What else? Or costly array. Two and three and four hundred thousand dollars. Who would spend a thousand dollars for one suit? Mm. Mm. $1,000? $1,000. Costly array. Costly. Spin above your means. That's right. Above it? Amen. That's right. Can't afford it. Amen. Costly. Are you listening? Amen. 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 I'm going to try to live like somebody else. That's right. Above oh. your means. That's right. Stay where you can manage. That's right. That way you don't try to compete with the other party. That's right. That's right. And then get in debt. That's right. And now when you're in debt, you watch an earnest angel. <laughs> That's right. Who believe yeah. the way to get you out of debt is send him some money. Amen. Right. Which will put you in more debt. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. That's right. That's right. Yes, Jakes and these other ones are false yes, prophets. False prophets. Ministers of the devil. Agents. They are satanic agents. My Lord. Sent to peddle the beliefs That's right. of Baal. Amen. That's right. All right, Dan. This letter says, and it's on the subject of raised hands and prayers. It says, Brother Jennings, greetings. I've noticed that the saints at First Church, when praying, raise, and, raise their hands in prayer, yeah. have their hands down, have their palms down. Yes. This is new to me, and I have heard others say the Muslim pray in this manner. Yes. Do you teach that this is the proper way to lift up holy hands? Amen. Does it matter what direction the palms face? If so, please direct me to where in Scripture that God instructs us to use this. Let's read. First Timothy chapter 2. Listen. And we're at verse 8. All right. I will therefore that men pray everywhere. Yes. Lifting up holy hands. Lifting up holy hands. Now, lifting is any position opposite from this. That's right. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. Any position. That's right. Lifting is any position, any position. opposite from this. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. My hands is raised, you can't save the down. That's right. No. That's right. No, no. Now, the direction of your palms is irrelevant. Irrelevant. Yes, it is. So what you gonna do if a person may not have no hands? That's right. And all they can do is raise from wrist up. That's right. Are you gonna say it's not raised? That's right. Now you're trying to strain at a net and swallow, swallow a camel. A camel. That's Amen. Right. If my hands is up like this. I can reach God. That's Amen. right. I can talk to him. Amen. That's right. I can pray to him. Amen. My hand is up like this. 
It don't make God no closer. Yeah, no, it won't. So if you want to go like this, go ahead. That's right. If I play like this, I'm all right. Still all right. It's not a Muslim thing. No. The Lord just say, lift holy hands. That's right. Holy hands. Down. That's right. Up. That's it. Down. That's right. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do this side. See if you get it. Down. That's right. Up. Down. Up. Lifting up. Let's let, let's get it from this angle. From this angle. Down. That's right. Up. Amen. Right. Right. Down. Up. That's, That's it. Right. Don't be a fool now. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Lifting up holy hands. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You criticize it because Muslims do it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, how do other religions do it? That's right. Because the other religion do it, that doesn't make it wrong. That's right. right. Because scripturally, mm -hmm. when it comes down for kneeling praying, that's right. On your face. Ninety-nine point nine churches kneel wrong. That's right. Amen. In Islam, kneel right. That's right. Mm. Because the way Islam kneel is the way the prophet Elijah kneel. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. That's it is right. plainly written that he bowed his face to the ground. Mm -hmm. To the ground. To the ground. Uh, you don't find no one in the scriptures kneeling the way most churches deal today. Amen. No, you don't. That's right. If you look at the scripture when prayer was being done. That's right. This is the way they prayed. Yes, That's sir. right. Amen. That's right. In the scripture. In the scripture. That's right. That's right. Sir. Nobody was beating on no chair. Oh Lord, no, 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 no. In the scripture. That's right. To the ground. That's right. That's right. That's right. And Elijah went to the top of Carmel. In chapter and verse. In the book of 1 Kings, chapter 18, and at verse 42. Don't you know we deal with all scripture? All scripture. I don't run from no subject. No, no, no. no. Can't do that. God, I tackle anything. Yes, that's, that's right. right. You know, when you believe in hardcore football, we believe in tackling you from any side. That's, that's right. right. Is that right? That's, that's right. right. We hit you from any. We are, we are faith masters. That's, that's right. Close line here. Yeah. Our objective is to bring you down. That's, that's right. right. That's right. I touch any subject under the sun. That's right. right. I have no problems in saying a certain religion is right in a subject. That's when right. When that what with what they're doing, I don't even if it's Jehovah Witnesses. Yeah, if they do something that's not in contradict of the Bible, I got to say amen to it. That's, that's right. right. Got to say that's, that's right, sir. Got to do it. That's, that's true. Amen to the truth. I say amen to what truth they have, and then I kill them with all the lies they have. That's, that's right. right. Amen. Come on, sir. First Kings chapter 18 and at verse 42. Follow me. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. Elijah <laughs> went to the top of Mount Carmel. And he cast himself down. He cast himself down. Upon the earth. Upon the earth. And put his face. Put his face. Between his knees. Between his knees. That's it. That's right. Amen. Scripture. Way down, sir. Amen. Your face is not between your knees like this. No, sir. No, it's You're not. You're relaxing. That's why most of you are sleeping, sir. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I want you to get this, girl. Amen. Amen. What did the book say? And he cast himself down he upon the earth. He cast himself down where? Upon the earth. Upon the earth. And put his face between his knees. That's where most of you church folks are. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Or oh, to get real relaxed. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Amen. Amen. You're teaching. But if you get pressed Come on, Come on. with scripture. Come on, oh, yeah, press. If you get pressed That's right. Right. Must acknowledge. with scripture. And he cast himself down upon the and earth. And you know what Jesus said? Amen. You fools. Slow of heart. And slow of heart. Oh. He said, believe. Oh. That's right. Oh, oh, what the prophets have said. That's right. The second epistle to the beloved that I now write unto you that you should be mindful the of the word spoken before by his holy prophets, the prophets. Holy and the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. That's right. That's right. Sir. Amen. Excellent. Excellent. Sir. Excellent. <laughs> Amen. What did the prophet do? And he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees. So if you see a bunch of folk praying like that, right away you'll find folks say, Pastor Jenner trying to change those folks in the moves. That's right. That's right. In the moves. That's what they'll say. Fool. Amen. I got everything I make in my business to preach. I can slide right in the home base in the scripture. That's, That's right. right. That's I right. can slide right in there. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
Amen. The way most people pray today is tradition. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Tradition. Amen. That's right. Let's come to Holy Ghost tradition. That's right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. All right, Dan. Next Th letter. This letter says it's on <laughs> women's attire. Yes. Women's attire. It says, Pastor Jennings. All right. I wanted to know if women visitors are expected to dress like the women members of your church if they attend the service at no. your church. No. Women visitors, they can come dressing what they want. Right. You ain't born, you can't scale the fish till you catch it. That's right. That's right. There's hundreds of women that come to the meetings where I travel around the world. Mm -hmm. Many coming with pants on and shorts. Ain't nobody gonna run to you until you get out. No. I mean, you don't know God, you don't know no better. It takes time to change. That's right. That's right. That's Is that right? right? That's right. If you come in here with earrings on, necklaces on, with nothing on your head, nobody gonna look down on you. No. Right? No. Because the ones that are dressed right, they wasn't always right. That's right. right. And the ones that are dressed right still struggle with something else. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. 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 So we're not going to look down on you, no, no. but because you're here dressed incorrect, it's still not going to stop us from teaching you. That's right. That's right. So whatever you have on, come on in. Amen. Sure, come on in, man. That's right. Sister, come in. We had them come in with shorts on, halters on, tattoos, no, everything. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was in Rocky Mount, and uh, there was a whole mass crowd around the podium to meet us, a lot of guests, after the meeting. Mm -hmm. And I never forget there was a woman. Well, I thought it was a man because she had her hair cut a particular way and her pants loose, you know, and she was, and she came up. Glad, Pastor Jennings, glad to meet you. I said, pleasure to meet you, sir. <laughs> she said, uh, I'm, a, I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. I said, really? <laughs> but I didn't treat her, you know, indifferent. Right. She said, you know, it was your message that caused me to be here. Wonderful. She said, I know the condition I'm in, but it was your message that caused me to be here in the condition that I'm in. Because she realized she needed deliverance and help. That's right. Man. Wonderful. See? So, because you hear us preach against the things that God is against, those that are in those things, they're not forbidden to come in here. No, right? no. Come here. It is written, my house shall be called. House of prayer. Oh! People's. And I ain't talking about Daddy Grace Church either. Oh, <laughs> That's right. That's right. I ain't talking about Daddy Grace Church. Oh, no. Not at all. Regardless of what your status in life, your color, your race, your origin. Right. You see, the truth of God deal with subjects that you will not find the religious preachers or teachers on the television dealing with. That's right. Amen. They shun these subjects. Amen. That's the, That's right. the reason why television viewers, they shun these subjects because one, they are afraid to lose members or they're scared it will cut down that church check. That's Amen. right. Already, God, we have preached the word of God if you're going to throw us to the firing squad. That's Amen. Right. Yes, sir. Listen. Amen. All right, Dan, come on. Next letter. It says, Dear Pastor Jennings, I found one of your tape broadcasts number 488 and 489. Then off, the, then off the tape, I found your website. Me and my husband live in a small town in Georgia. My husband and I love your preaching. My husband is a preacher himself. He is 19 years old and got called to preach mm. one year ago. Mm. He also stands on the name of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of I, all. I would love to talk to the young brother. Amen. A lot of young men out here who believe God called them and sent them and they don't really know by scriptural law what office is actually called and what office is actually sent. Amen. There's only two offices in the Bible that's called direct of God. That's right. The Bible said in Luke 11, 49, uh, I will send that's right. unto you. Prophet and the Bible lets you know this is a wise saying. Luke right. 11 and at verse 49. Listen. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. Anything else that opposite from this is not wise to say. That's right. Huh? Therefore also said the wisdom of God. Also said. Say. So any other thing that's said that contradict this is not a wise saying. That's right. What is the wisdom of God? I will send them prophets and, and apostles. So if the young man that's out, 19 years old, he says he's God called and God sent, he's either a prophet or an apostle. That's right. And if he's not either, then he must be taught. 
That's right. You must be instructed. That's right. And there's no harm in being instructed the right way. That's right. No. Timothy subject himself to it. That's Titus right. subject himself to it. That's right. Gaius subject himself to it. Philemon subject himself to it. Elisha subject himself to it. Yeah. Bainbridge subject himself to it. That's right. That's right. That's right. The problem with many men today, they don't want to be taught. Right. You have 10,000 instructors, but the Bible says, yet that many fathers. Many fathers. Right. Amen. Come on, brother. Go ahead, Dan. He also stands for the name of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Well, Lord. I want to teach him how to stand more for the name. That's right. By teaching him the representation right. and the definition and the interpretation of the name. Amen. That's right. For the name of Jesus is a way of life and it is a work. Yes. That's right. Huh? That's right. Yeah. It's not just standing for a name. No. That's right. It's standing for a work. That's, That's right. right. I wish I had time to get into that and strip it bare, but come That's on, right. Dan. I am only 16. You're his wife and she's 16. All right. Mm -hmm. I know we're young, but as long as we stand on the truth and stand on our vows, I don't guess it matters. Oh, it does matter. Amen. Because when you say standing on truth, let us consider this, my young brother and sister. Amen. When a man says he's preaching, mm -hmm. he got to give an account to God for what come out of his mouth. That's right. right. The oh. title preacher mm -hmm. is more dangerous than being a scientist handling uranium. That's right, oh, sir. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Because if you're a scientist handling uranium, you can destroy all my goodness, That's right. millions. That's right. But right. oh, you're talking about a preacher. Oh, God. You can destroy billions eternally. Eternal. Amen. Messing Amen. up the eternal life. Amen. Amen. Listen. Amen. Come on, brother. We have a very small church. My husband's dad is the head pastor, and my husband is the assistant pastor. All right. But they don't have much schooling or seminar schooling. But we do have the one spirit of Jesus. Yeah. I thank you for your time to read this and ask that you please contact us back. Keep on standing on the word, this person says. All right, my media director will make contact with you and try to contact you through email, get your uh, phone number, and he'll give you mine and give you his, and we'll make contact with you. I'm getting a whole lot of mail, more and more mail out of Georgia. Amen. People want to help, need help, because Georgia has surpassed L.A. in the gay capital yes. of Amen. America. Amen. 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 My Lord. You right. Georgia faggots. My Lord. Amen. Shame on you. Amen. Anytime you pass L.A., you're doing something. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yes. Anytime you can pass L.A. L.A. Mm -hmm. And faggotism. That's right. You're doing something. Amen. Amen. Now, let me say this, because some stations, many of you write me. That's right. And say, Pastor Jennings, I notice on certain words you say, the station blurts you out. Mm. You know what? That's sad, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> because they'll watch ABO, HBO, <laughs> That's right. and Showtime. Yes, they will. They say faggot. That's, That's right. right. No problems. In fact, on Showtime and HBO and television, they call you MF and SOB and everything. That's right. Nobody blurt them out. That's right. So when I say faggot. Amen. <laughs> Why you gotta blurt me out? <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. You don't hear me over the air telling you, why are you not born again, you mother so so? You don't hear me doing that? No, no, no. But when I say, faggot. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Faggot. <laughs> you blurt me out. Blurt, blurt out. Why? That's right. You don't blurt out Showtime? No. You don't blurt out USA? No. Right. You don't blurt out uh, HBO? Amen. Right. You don't blurt out pay, pay per view? Oh, no. Personally. But it's something about being called a faggot. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that ignites yeah. the conscience of humanity. That's right. That's right. That's right. So it's rather for me to be more passive and say gay. Yeah. Right. That's right. All right. <laughs> gay. All right. Yeah. Faggot. All right, next letter. Come on. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> this letter says, Dear Pastor Jennings, I sent you an email a couple of days ago telling you about me and my husband and how we were, he was a young preacher of, of the Apostles' Doctrine. A lot of churches that are in the same true faith believe that women, that women should wear dresses all the time and use the scripture in Deuteronomy about that men should look, should look like men and women look like women. And I believe that the scripture, and I, I believe that scripture and believe that you should cover your body and look holy. But I was wondering, do you think that women should wear dresses all the time and shouldn't wear pants? Thank you. Please contact me back, she says. Blessings be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, women ought to be holy all the time. That's right. That's right. In the presence of your home, if you don't want to wear a dress, wear a house coat or house dress. But pants is forbidden. That's right. That's right. That's right. Pants is forbidden. 
In Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Just like a uh, dress for a man in his home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it's yeah. forbidden. That's right. I mean. That's right. <laughs> what it look like, you know. Amen. It's real hot outside. I want to get one of my wife's house dress. That's right. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Mag enough, I get one of my wife's house dresses. Just sit down on a porch in a rocking chair. <laughs> get my hat. Lord, one of my right. brothers ride by. Hey, pass your dinner, and I get up with this house dress on. <laughs> Amen. Hey, stand there. Greetings, bro. Amen. What you got on? I mean, I ain't feel like wearing no pants today. Put on my wife's house dress. Something. Would you not frown? That's right. <laughs> oh yeah. Now my young sister. Right. Imagine, if you turn a telecast on one day, mm -hmm. and now you see our sisters in all white. <laughs> Imagine, Pastor Jennings was standing here with the white skirt on. My Lord. That's right. Woman's God. Just telling you who Jesus is. <laughs> <laughs> Would you not? You'll be freaked out. Oh, That's yeah. Right. You'll be like this man that went too far. That's right. That's right. Lost yes, the woman is not to be wearing pants. No. That's a struggle for some women. Right. Sure it is. Oh yeah. Don't say, well, I can't see no one with the Holy Ghost having a struggle over that. If, if it's not a struggle for you, speak for yourself. That's right. That's right. But it's a struggle for some women, and I don't go yeah. around trying to find out who is the struggle for. Yeah. My job is preach the word. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And That's right. teach the word of God. Right. For, for some women, it is a struggle. Right. But it is my job to enlighten. That's right. Amen. Because of a truth, when you wear pants, it shows more of your shape. That's right. That's right. That's right. Like you sisters that are watching now of various ethnic groups in the world right. who wear your super duper tight, low riding jeans Amen. until everything that's in your jeans is out. That's right. Amen. Including your thong that you want everybody to see where your tattoo is. That's right. That's right. That's right. Just walking. Amen. Amen. That's right. So men can whistle at you. Then when they take what you have against your will, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. what is the purpose of low riding jeans other than to entice? That's right. That's right. That's right. I mean, let's just be realistic. Be real, sir. That's right. Why would you wear low riding jeans and you know you're a hippie or built sister? That's right. And everything in your clothes is coming out and you just walk. Just walk. That's right. And here's somebody come looking at you. That's right. Barping their horn and you turn around smiling. You need to show body parts to get a man. You ain't much. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> If you need, I say, to show body parts to get a man, you ain't much. No, no, no. Any dog comes to meet. That's right. right. Any dog. A dog come to meet and don't care whether it's cooked or not. That's right. That's right. Check it out. You don't find a dog come to you and say, are you well done? No. no. <laughs> are you well done? No, no. No. The no. dog come by, check you out. Check, check it out, too. Ask no questions. questions. He don't go to the front desk of a hotel no, and say he want to be in a penthouse. No, no. Yes, sir. He ain't paying to take them cars ride by. And that's exactly where you load your riding jean women are. You don't care who see you. That's in right. fact, you're proud that's right. of who see you. That's right. Until they take what you didn't offer and now you become a statistic, a rape victim. That's right. Amen. Oh, yeah. Carrying a baby for someone that you don't even know. Don't even know. That's right. Yes. You keep your dresses on. That's right. Now, that's right. That's now, I'm not saying when you go to bed with your husband, you got on a dress and stockings and shoes and an overcoat and have your hair covered. Now you're getting uh, ridiculous. Hey, Amen. Right. Well, I'm going to be ready when the Lord comes. Now you're getting stupid. That's stupid. Hey, Jack. Man and got a wife. He don't want to see his wife always with stockings and shoes on, a house coat on, and a hat, and an umbrella, and an overcoat, <laughs> and goulash boots, and all that stuff. That's right. <laughs> Am I right, man? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 
That's, That's right. why you'll find that man going out and buy something for his wife himself. That's right. That's right. If he know how to buy. That's, That's right. right. If he don't know how to buy, he gonna buy her something that's almost as like what she wear to church. Right. That's right. Is that right? That's right, right. He gonna have church service at home in his own room. That's right. That's right. I wanna teach you good. Teach you better. Come on, let's have it. Back to Jamaica again. This person you got says. Got one in Jamaica? Come on, Jamaica. Jamaica. My mother-in-law has been a part of this Trinitarian church for a very long time. Yeah. So she has a lot of influence on her son who is my husband. All right. She said it does not matter what name you are baptized in. Is, is a, this true? Is it a name on there? Sophia. Sophia again? Back to Sophia. Sophia, you got a lot of trouble, girl. <laughs> All right, back in Jamaica. Sophia, I hope you don't get in trouble for this. God bless your <laughs> television watching heart. Amen. Sophia, listen up. Anytime. Now, sir, I don't mean to offend you, but I want to help you. The word of God teaches us that a man should leave mm -hmm. his father and, his mother. and mother mm -hmm. and cleave to his wife. To his wife. That's right. Therefore, sir, your mother, mother That's right. should not have no influence That's right. in your house. That's, That's right. right. Am I right? That's right. That's right. Your mother That's true. should not have no influence. That's right. And the wife of the husband and the wife. That's you right, amen. That's right. Sir, Take your time, do you not believe your mother can't be wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because she birthed you into the world. She may have taught you to the best of her ability. That's, That's right. right, man. But she can't teach you no more than what she knows. Amen. That's right. So if you already are baptized, Father, Son, or Holy Ghost, and a victim of the Trinitarian garbage. That's right. That's right. That's right. That there are three separate distinct persons. deities, That's right. persons in the Godhead. Amen. When there is no God but one. That's right. The first commandment is, Hero is the Lord our God is how many? One. Amen. One. So if there's one God, then I want to tell you, your mama, <laughs> she taught you a lie. That's right. That's right. She may not did it intentionally. Because all she did was pass down to you what's been passed to her. Right. So she's an innocent victim. Amen. But it don't change the fact you've been misled. That's right. That's right. So That's right. the best thing to do, Sophia, is to talk to your husband and show him the importance of being a man That's and right. not allow your mother-in-law to have voice That's right. in That's right. your marriage. That's right. That's right. Because the book says, leave, leave father, father and mother, and mother, that's right. and cleave to his, right. to his wife. That's right. That they two should no longer be twined but one flesh. Amen. Amen. All right, Dan, what else you got? This person says, dear Pastor Gino Jennings, I'm not good at reaching out to anyone, so I'll do my best. Every Sunday at 10 p.m. I watch you preach. I feel as though you're real, not phony. You got that right. Amen. Sir. Nothing phony about this. No, no, no. All right. I'm writing to you because I need someone to reach out to. All right, I hope I can help you. What is it? I feel as though God left me alone or is angry with me. My heart is in a lot of pain. I'm going through a lot. My emotions are scattered everywhere. You sound like a whole lot of people. That's right. All right. Once God gave me peace, and now I feel as though he took it away from me. Now I'm lost with nowhere to turn. I feel the hatred I had for people coming to, to service. Mm -hmm. I feel everyone is my enemy, yes. even my family. I try to put aside my pain, but it's on, it only gets worse. Is God angry with me? What can I do to make it right again? When you had peace, Amen. Ryder, what were you doing Amen. that brought about this peace? Right. Now that you don't have peace, what did you do to alter the peace you formerly had? Amen. Amen. Let's talk wise today. Amen. Amen. Peace to people. Peace is a state of mind. That's right. Peace I get. Peace is a state of being. Wonderful, sir. That's right. Excellent, sir. What did you do? Mm. How prayerful were you? How stable were you? 
Amen. How in tune with God were you? Amen. How focused were you? How obedient Amen. were you? Amen. What caused God to turn Amen. on anybody? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59, and we'll begin at verse 1. Listen. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Yes. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. What happened? But your iniquities. Your sin. Amen. Have separated. Have brought a division. Between you. Who? Between you. Who? Between you. Who? Between you. And who else? And your God. Amen. Your teacher. Amen. At, to what result? And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Amen. Amen. The constant sin and the unwillingness to repent for one's sin makes God deaf. Amen. 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 That's right. Let me say it again. It's true. The constant practice of sin without the willingness to repent sincerely for the sin makes God deaf. Amen. Amen. So if God, viewer, is not hearing you, it is only a result of our own actions. Right. That's right. That's right, preacher. That's right. That's right. Can we make God angry? Oh, certainly. Amen. Hmm. Certainly. That's a good question. Oh, yeah. Very jealous. Of Can man or woman make God angry? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Amen. Yes. In the book of Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. it is written. That's right. A fire. Kindled. kindled. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. In my anger. Come on. Oh, yeah. If fire is kindled, mm -hmm. then there are various deeds That's right. that are done without <laughs> repentance for those deeds that make God angry with us. In yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and at verse 21. Listen. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. Here's the cause. Mm -hmm. Bible said jealousy is the rage of a man. That's right. Have you ever seen a jealous man see him rage in the midst of jealousy? It's not a good picture. Amen. I mean, there's some men can't keep their composure. That's mm -hmm. right. They lose it. Lose it. They can't find it again. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Walking around cussing, fussing, yelling, screaming. You was talking to him too long. And who was that on your phone? And what is his name? And I know you're looking at him. I know you want him. I know you love him. I know you this, that, and the of him. Most time when men are like that, they're insecure. Amen. It could have been an experience they had in life that made them insecure. And sometimes they're insecure not because they had an experience, because they're just that makeup. That's right. Insecure. Amen. Nothing is insecure about God. Oh, no. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. But he knows he deserves everything from the people Amen. that he wants. Right. So when he see you giving something and someone more attention, then oh. it's aimed at him. That's right. mm -hmm. He don't like it. Oh, don't like it. That's he right. don't love it. That's, that's right. He hates it. That's right. Amen. Any other way of letting you know that he don't like it. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. He may bring it to you in a dream. That's right. That's yeah. right. Take your piece away. Or he may bring it in a message. Yes, sir. That's right. Giving you a chance. Mm -hmm. To regroup, Amen. That's right, that's right. make adjustments. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. When you make a thing your God, mm -hmm. money, job, mm -hmm. a man, that's right. a woman, that's right. anything that's right. that you bow to, that's right. other than God, He hates it. He hates right. it. Yes, sir. The conduct of the people in the scripture ignited a fire in his anger. That's right. That's why hell was created. That's right. Amen. So ask yourself, writer, what, have you done? what did you do? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing it? Mm -hmm. Is it ever in you to quit? 
Pastor Jen, I can't see myself changing. Then you are provoking. Provoking. That's right. Provoking. You are provoking God. That's, That's right. right. Listen at this. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. Yes. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. Yes, sir. Are you vain, mm -hmm. writer? Yeah. Are you so vain, you so materialistic until you're mm -hmm. caught up in anything that's not God? That's right. Yeah. Television viewers around the world, yeah. there's nothing in life nothing. you should be caught up in. That's right. Amen. Other than God. That's right. That's right. That kind of man gives it. Are you listening? That's, That's right. right. Ooh, yeah. A wife, a good woman? Good. But you shouldn't be so caught up into her until her life, your life depend upon her existence in God. That's right. Until she backslide, you backslide. That's right. Husband backslide, you backslide. That's right. You lose your job, no more church. Amen. Amen. The woman broke up with you and your heart is so broken, you stay out of church because you're so busy at home clipping your big toenails. That's right. And you's a man. A man. Amen. Amen. What am I going to do? Sad, what am I going to do, baby, baby, baby? That's right. I lost my bit. Listen. That's right. That's right. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. That's right. Snap out of it. That's am right. I right? That's right. Amen. What about God? That's Amen. right. Sir. Oh, yes. Sir. We become depressed, Amen. grievously perplexed, mm -hmm. all down and bent out of shape Amen. when we come close to losing something or someone in this earth. That's right. That's true. But many of us is not moved. My God. Right. We find ourselves losing That's right. God. Amen. That's right. 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 We don't run to him. That's right. Amen. We don't pick up pace That's in right. fasting. Amen. We don't pick up pace in praying. That's right. Amen. We can see us and God becoming distant. Mm -hmm. We talk about it and do nothing, nothing to bring our relationship closer. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The prophet Isaiah chapter 59 says what? But your iniquities, your have, iniquities separated have separated between you and your God. If you want the gap between you and God to close, you ask, what should you do? What should you do? Repent! That's right. Amen. And the book says, turn. 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 That's right. That's That's right. right. That's Wake up, fellow. If my people, which are called by my name, yeah. will humble themselves, humble themselves. Amen. and Amen. Pray. pray, Amen. he says, and seek my face. Then, that's right. God promised you, right? He I said, will, then, then will I hear from heaven. But hearing from heaven is a turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Notice what he says in the book of Chronicles. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. Yes. If right. my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves. Hey, you got to humble yourself. Humble you. You wrong, admit you wrong. That's right. Yes. Amen. Humble yourself. That's Repent right. for your wrong. Amen. That's right. Don't go try to uphold wrong when you know it's wrong. That's right. Amen. If it's wrong, Call a spade is wrong. That's right. Amen. And when you humble yourself under the mighty hands of God, as the animals when they came to Noah at the ark, they had the couch. That's yeah. right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They had the couch, and when they couch, those that couch was able to come in. That's right. That's right. See if you couch, glory to God. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Submit yourself. Amen. You can get into the kingdom of God. That's, That's right. right. Amen. But the problem with America and the world, they don't want to humble themselves. That's right. Amen. They become self-exalted, self-centered. Right. Pride is the downfall yes, of most people. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Sir. That's right, folks. That's right. So proud and so arrogant. Mm -hmm. They are wrong you and then say you owe them an apology. That's right. That's, that's right. true. That's right. that's right. Man, I know people like this. That's right. That's right. That's right. People have wronged me and said I owe them an apology. That's right. Oh. That's right. That's right. When you're arrogant and proud, you're thinking more than what you are. Some people measure their growth or status in life through ownership of materialism. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's called the Nebuchadnezzar syndrome. That's right. That's right. That's right. They look at all what they have. Uh -huh. They would have buy any car on the lot. That's 
They ain't got to stand in line for a long. That's right. They got a little piece of property there, a little piece of property there, and they want everybody to know I'm it. So they get a new set of wheels, and you haven't seen them in a long time. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. But the right. moment they get that new set of wheels, they drive up to your place. Hmm. Oh, you know, I was just in the neighborhood. Stop okay. lying. That's right. You want somebody to just see your new car? That's right. That's right. That's right. Or a new play. SUV or something. That's yeah. right. Make it Without play. the SUV, you don't even know they exist. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Show offs. Show offs. Show -offs. Show -offs. That's right. And this is where people measure their greatness by what they have. That's why you will find the majority of their conversation is what they have. Amen. I got this. I got that. Right. That's Who right. cares? That's right. What the man gives. That's right. Do you have God? That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. I'm not impressed with nobody. No. No. Amen. With what little tangible junk you have. That's Amen. Right. Amen. What can you do in a mansion with 25 bedrooms and 35 bathrooms? You got 35 toilets. <laughs> That's right. That's right, sir. But bend your knees on one toilet at a time. Amen. Bring it. One at a time. Go ahead. That's, That's bringing right. it real down there. Real down. That's right. That's right. Down to Earth. When I go to Europe, That's right. people go visit the Queen Palace. Amen. Amen. I drove by the palace. What's she doing? Here? My brothers in England said, Pastor, do you want to go in there? I was like, what am I going to see? <laughs> Windows? That's right. A, a, a chair? That's all, man. Uh, a floor? That's right. That's right. So people brag about what they got. They take you inside the house. This bathroom, this tub, is a Louis the Fourteenth made and Napoleon himself <laughs> bathed in it. My Lord. This toilet spindle made from 100% gold from the caves of Asia. That's, That's right. right. Now, what could that Egyptian do with that toilet spindle? Amen. That you can't do with Scott today. That's, That's right. right. That's right, sir. That's the truth of it. You become built up over junk. Amen. You see, I'm a down to earth, rugged preacher. That's right, right, sir. I want you to understand, nigga, you came here, nigga, you were going, and God ain't impressed with nothing you got. You rich folk? That's right. You ain't worth nothing. That's right. Rich. Right. Go ahead. The truth of it. Paul said, charge them that are rich in this world. That's right. Right, that you don't be high minded right, and mind. trust in uncertain riches, right. but living in God. the living God. That's right. The only time a rich man to work something is when he obeyed God and used his money for the service of God. That's, That's right. right. That's Amen. Right. That's right. That's right. Sir. Well, why is that you the rich sinner? That's right. Like you folk in Hollywood, the telecast has seen in LA. You folk throughout California. Uh -huh. Look at you rich folk, movie stars, and you foolish people who is called common people. That's what That's they right. call them, common people. That's right. right. Stand all in line to look at movie stars and you yelling. Woo! Oh my God! You paparazzi fools. Ooh. Amen. Chase a car down and take a picture of a nut. That's right, sir. Yes, they will. How foolish, how foolish. Yes, they will. How foolish. Big deal! Yes, man. Tom Cruise, baby, got a Jewish name. Amen. That's right. Teach it. That's right. That's right. Take he didn't time. get on it. Take your time. Big deal. That's yeah. right. Because he constantly don't remarry the divorce, remarry the divorce, remarry the divorce. He's an adulteress. Yeah. That's it. That's all. Adulteress. Let me call it like I see it. That's right. Amen. An adulteress. That's right. Now, let Pastor Jenner's marry again. Yes, sir. Why his second wife is living. And they get on a talk show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do like Tom Cruise. Yeah. Get up in a chair. Oh! Oh! I'm so excited! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh! You adulterous rich fool. That's right. Rich fool. Adulterous. Amen. You California folk? Yeah! God! Amen. Gonna judge every last one of you. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right, sir. Your money! Your wealth! will not buy you out the kingdom. Right. Jakes won't tell you that. That's right. Benny Hinn won't tell you that. That's right. Because they are impressed 
with you being in their presence. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Your riches don't mean nothing to God. That's yeah. right. And it don't mean That's nothing right. to a true man of God. Amen. Go to Amen. God. Amen. Nothing I said. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Sir. Don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. Watch what a man gives you. That's right. I right. hear you That's right. television preachers brag because some rich person go to your congregation. Uh -huh. That's right. Big deal. 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 <laughs> That's right. So what? So Amen. Amen. Do you, all you have is some extra money there. That's right. Amen. See, that's why you preachers don't preach against this stuff. That's, that's right. right. Oh no, that's right. Because it'll cut your income off. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. Oh yeah. You start preaching against remarriage and divorce. That's right. Poor chaps. Living together, not married. That's right. Oh, yeah. No more caviar eggs. That's no right. more caviar. That's right. You just got nothing to get the fish. That's right. Can't that's get right. the eggs. That's, that's right. right. You start dwindling down from that. Expensive fish. Now you gotta wait till that fish man come up the truck in the station wagon. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. I got fish. I got pogus. That's right. I got flounder. That's right. I got snapper. That's Amen. right. You people that watch this telecast, God sent this telecast because we are at the end time. That's right. That's right. And the reason why I'm Amen. getting thousands of letters constantly telling me I have learned more from your program than all the years I've been going to church That's because right. none of these television preachers are teaching anything with substance. That's right. That's they don't right. speak out against the no. sins of America. That's right. They don't speak out against the ills of society. That's right. Your neighborhood church is no good. It ain't doing nothing for the neighborhood but selling dinners and billing basketball courts so games can hang out. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's right. That's the truth of it. Nothing else. Nothing else. else. No teachers. When you hear us preach like this, that Pastor Dennis is mean. 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 He's not loving. Mean. Call me what you want. You ought to right. know by now. I really don't care. That's, That's right. right. I'm going to do God will if it kill us. That's right. That's right. Preach, preach the word, sir. Preach the word. The Bible said preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant. Instant. In season. Are you ready? And out of season. Oh, yeah. Preach. So when these rich movie stars visit these churches, preach you'll the find word. a TV camera always on them. Oh, yeah. Preacher, right. get up. Like Robert Shuler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't preach nothing. 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 Business. Yes. Smile. Well, you know, folks. Yeah. That's right. Business. I tell you, we <laughs> glad to have this NBA star. That's right. <laughs> this NBA star. Yeah. <laughs> you people got it wrong. Yeah. My time is getting away. You people got it wrong. Got it wrong. Amen. The Lord our God, brothers and sisters, wants you to repent. Amen. Yes, sir. And be baptized, every one of you, every one of you. Everybody, everywhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, to get your sins washed away. And God wants you to look to Him, not them. That's right. You're praying to Mary. You're kissing the Pope ring. You're holding Catholic relics. That's right. You're holding pieces of corpses. Yes, That's right. You're kissing crucifix. That's right. Amen. You're filling chains and you got a rabbit's foot. That's right. Lord, you Lord. got everything but God. Everything but God. In these last days, you need God. Amen. That's right. Read me one more scripture, Williams. Amen. In the book of the epistle of Jeremiah. Read quick. Chapter 1 and we're at verse 6. Says what? But say ye in your heart. Say ye in your heart. O Lord. O Lord. We must worship thee. What should the viewer say? Say ye in your hearts, O Lord. O Lord. We must worship thee. We must, must. worship thee. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Brothers and sisters. We're at the end time now. Is that right? This is what I advise you to do. Put your time in. 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 Yes, put your time in. Put your time in. Yeah, put your 
Thank God for the service starts for us. So don't forget a nice service is gonna start at six o'clock when all the brothers help the, help the brother the road uh, get the equipment up. And we all stand and believe a prayer. So I'll stand. Let your heart pray. Our Father in heaven, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for the service, Lord. Thank God you have blessed us today, Lord. We had a great time, Lord. Continue to bless your people, Lord. Save the living, set free, Lord. Even bless the telecast, Lord, so that people might hear the word and be saved, Lord. Come out of darkness to the marvelous light. Continue to bless the man of God. He might continue to go forth and preach the gospel, Lord. The soul might be saved, the living, set free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Though the storms keep on raging in my life And sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day Still that hope that lies 
You have been watching the Worldwide Truth of God television program with the Apostle and Servant of God, Pastor Gino Jennings of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. The church's phone number, street, and website addresses are now on the screen. We would like to hear from you. And don't forget to listen to our radio program that may be airing in your area. Please call or write us for a current listing of our radio stations. Peace be unto all. The proceeding was a paid program brought to you by the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. The opinions expressed were solely those of the sponsor.